Uh, Hello! Uh. <laughs> Welcome to High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, the weekly D&D show here on twitch.tv forward slash Joscast and <coughs> twitch.tv forward slash High Rollers d and I'm your Dungeon Master, as always, Mark Sherlock Humes. Joining me this week, we have... <laughs> Rhiannon, Chris Trott, <laughs> and Kimberly as well. Kimberly? Kimberly. Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly. <laughs> on the other side, we have not only Tom Hazel, and Katie Morrison, but our guest Ravs as well. Oh, yeah. All the way Ravs, yeah. from Bonnie Scotland. <laughs> I, am, I am from Scotland, yeah. I'm sure he loves that. Uh, yeah, no, he's, he's made it very clear that Ravs <laughs> loves it when people do Scottish accents. Yeah. I'm going to turn the tables on you. Purple burglar alarm. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, <laughs> sounds great, I think yeah. it sounds lovely. Yeah. That was pretty um, good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're practicing I've that practicing. one specific that one Yeah, I'm trying really hard to get better at my English accent. Yeah, yeah. it's working. Mm-hmm. Rax is joining us as the guest this week. Um, we've only got a couple of little things to talk about, uh, so we can hopefully jump into the game really quick. Yes. First up is our returning sponsor, D&D Beyond. Yay! Chris Trott, tell us about D&D Beyond. Did you know? It's the second day of the second month and the second decade of the second millennia today. What? 02, 02, oh. 2020. Holy shit, it is. That's nuts. Oh, it's pretty good. I'm nuts. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Did you know that a barbarian at level two has a plus two proficiency bonus, gains two abilities, reckless attack and danger, that has two rages and plus two rage damage? Uh-huh. A cleric at the second level, that's you. That's me. Uh, also gains two abilities, uh-huh. one of which is Channel Divinity that has two effects on it. Nice. Uh, a level second acid spell arrow, acid arrow, uh-huh. has two words in it. Acid, yeah, okay. And each of those two words has two syllables in it, and uses two d4s for his damage. Right. But you also know page 20 <laughs> of the player's handbook is all about dwarves, and they increase their constitution by two. <laughs> oh my god. This Speak is two special. languages. <laughs> Have two main sub races, hill dwarfs and mountain dwarfs. Mm-hmm. It goes deeper. Yeah. They wear two twos. No, they okay. didn't do that. No. <laughs> if you take the letters of D and D Beyond and give them numbers, so one is A, B is two, right, etc. D is four, N is fourteen. Take the D, N, and B, add them together, get twenty. <laughs> Multiply the second D with the E to get twenty. Add the Y with the O to get 40, divide that by the last two to get 10, add that to the end to get 24, take the 24, divide the 4 by 2 and get 22, split the 2 into 2, it comes two twos. <laughs> All together you get two twos, that's two 20s as well, so it's 02, 02, 2020. I got, I got another two. <laughs> hey! Got get him. your two from dndbeyond.com. <laughs> yeah, let's not swear at our beloved sponsor. D&D Beyond. I, did that you do all of that figuring out yourself you went through? <laughs> the maths was pretty good. That's... I think the math. Well done, Chris Trump. Oh, that was... I'm confused. I did the math. I'm very rare. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that was a sponsor, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, as a point, we love D&D Beyond because it makes playing D&D online much easier and yes. has wonderful yeah. features, none of which Chris Trump mentioned. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I found all of those things, thanks to D&D Beyond. Uh, I went to page... You did. Uh, Sid, that is correct. That's meant to be correct. That's good. Um, yeah. Well, thank you, D&D Beyond. Thank you, D&D Beyond. Yes. And thank you, Chris Two, 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 two. Couple of very quick other things. We've got a bunch of new emotes over on High Rollers D&D. So if you're a Twitch sub over on High Rollers D&D, Loads of new emotes. If you've got your spare Amazon Prime and you want to go get some high roller specific emotes, why not go and sub up? We're building up to a Hadar emote, I believe. Um, yes. We also have the Good. Patreon, uh, which we've been trying to add more stuff to as we go as well. Um, if you just want to throw that extra support towards high rolls way, we have the, the Patreon as well. Yeah. Um, and that is pretty much oh it my for God. this week. Also merch. That's pretty much it. Well, the merch, we've got some plans in the works. Yeah, but this is still available. There is available. Is merch, available. what is it? What's the store link? Fresh merch, some fresh merch. It's in our Twitter. There you go. Fresh merch. Go buy some fresh merch. merch. Fresh I'm wearing the command as well. Yeah. Check that out. Check that out. Wow. Uh, that's it. So, dun without dun. further ado, done done. Done done. With the new emotes. New emotes. New emotes. Done done. 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 Let's go.
you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, baby, we back. We back, baby. Yep. We back, baby. Welcome back to High Rollers. <laughs> On the last episode, in the ruins of Kamina City, known as the City of Glass, the party fought against a corrupted guardian called Herald, who would embrace the power of Hadar, the Crimson Star, to feed off the life force of other guardians she had lured there in an attempt to keep herself alive and to fulfill her guardian purpose. Joining forces with a Knight of Callus and his sorcerer companion, the party were nearly overwhelmed by scores of feral guardians. But eventually, the Herald was defeated and the group survived. Maximilian Taldros and Dana Glomfire vanished in a spell, uh, and Sentry uh, united the Herald with her Echo, and with help from Lucius, helped to restore her sanity and the goodness from its memory. The Herald, determined to end her life in payment for the lives she had stolen, but was persuaded by Sentry to join them until she redeems herself. The party left to recover, repair the ship, and now begin their journey to find Volcanos, a secret facility which houses the Prime Guardian. That's where we pick up. We are going to do a little bit of, not necessarily retconning, but in the two days that you were in Imixan, I know that some of you had some things you wanted to do. Um, so before we crack on, uh, I know Tom and, uh, well, Quill and Nova specifically had things they wanted to do. So should we do Nova first? Yeah, sure. All right. So this is for the project you spoke to me that you wanted to work about, right? Mm-hmm. So um, the whole project will cost you about 300 gold in raw materials, which you can buy in installments. Mm -hmm. So if you want to mark off, say, 100 gold now, you can do that. That purchases um, lots of leather, metal bindings, um, things that you're going to need to kind of create the actual enchantments, um, but you're going to need to keep supplying those. Um, it will take about three weeks of construction. You're going to need to get the measurements and the design based on his other feature. Who? What? What? Say. What's his um, project? You will also need to make a series of checks as you build it, basically. Now, you can have other people make these checks. So if you want to have somebody in Imixan do the first one, mm -hmm. you can do that. Um, that's not a problem. They'll cost you about five gold for a, a skilled artisan mm -hmm. to make the and basic thing. We've already done that off I have done that. Camera. So, okay. yeah, that was a success. So one of those checks is now complete. You need two more leatherworking checks and one blacksmithing check. Um, you will also at some point need to do some magical research to determine a rare component that will actually give the enchantment power. I can't remember what she's working on. Who knows? Only Nova knows. You're so. making a wing. Secret. So the main thing to note off is the 100 gold, um, and then 5 that. gold for the artisan, oh. and then one of your checks is complete. Mm. And then over the, the next couple of weeks you're going to need to do some investigating and research. And then, cool, cool uh, cosplay. <laughs> just, just as a point of clarification, so we made a slight mistake in shopping last yes. week, and I paid for learning heal major injury, which Nova can't learn yet. It's so we were funded the two fifty. Yes. Yeah. Of which Nova. For those hundreds. nerds out there who are tracking this stuff, yeah. uh, that's relevant. So yeah. that's the main thing. And the rest of you all see like Nova bringing on like big supplies of leather, um, you know, metal wires, metal clasps and bindings, like clearly construction materials for something. I mean, hey, buddy, is... buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Doing a thing. Do you need some help carrying things? These look kind of heavy. No, it's okay. I've got to work on my sweet guns. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes, I approve. Uh, so that's pretty much what you wanted to do, wasn't it? So mm -hmm. that's going to take you some time. You're going to have to devote a lot of time to that. Mm -hmm. Has the wolf pack security gone up a little bit? Like people bringing goods on board? I think that it probably would. Um, I mean, for the most part, it's very obvious what Nova's bringing on board, um, but there is definitely a kind of... I mean, it's not their place to challenge you, right? You're the officers of the ship, but they are paying closer attention and kind of looking at what you're bringing on and things like that. I think as well, if anyone actually wanted to search, she would happily be like... Just let them. Yeah. yeah. They, they don't actively, because yeah, yeah. to them, that would be overstepping their bounds, right? Mm. They're your employees, yeah. but they are a bit more cautious. Uh, Quill, what did you want to do? Uh, I want to uh, send a message of sending, so you can't not, sending, not to Vala because she's off limits as far as okay. I'm concerned. I want to send a message, a sweet little love letter to uh, Maximilian Taldros, my new so boo. This is the my Knight of Calistar Bane that you temporarily Lucius? joined for. It's very hurtful. I mean, <laughs> okay. And I want to rank. What do you them. say? So you have 25 <laughs> words for the sending spell. So 25 you words. It, I know. I have. I just need to we'll open it up in advance. I promise. Oh, it's okay. I'm and just soaking the drink it in. Okay. Soak it up. Mm -hmm. So I've written exactly 25 words. Don't yeah. worry. This is. Okay. I like that. 
So I want to. So this is the sending spell message. The sending spell. So he is on a. He is in another realm. Right? Yes. So can you? I will roll a d hundred. So there's a five percent chance this will fail to get to him. I guess. Yeah. So ninety five or higher will fail. Nope. It goes through. Okay. I want to send him. Uh, you're an honourable man who works for good. We try to be the same. We will always keep your vows for valour and for you. Oh. That's what you sent to Maximilian. That's what I'm sending to Maximilian. Okay. Oh. So the message you get back, it takes a bit of time, but you get a message back in Maximilian's voice. Thank you. I'm sorry for Dana's actions. Okay. I hope... We never need fight, but work towards a common goal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Valor will be safe. Praxis Fall, which you heard him say mm. uh, when he charged into battle last time. We also had on Aegis Five. Yeah, I think we know Did what we that, that means, don't we? It was the command to open the door. I think it's just a general starving. You don't know what it means, yeah. It's, mm. it's some. It's not common, so it, it's spoken like, in yeah. common, but it's like some sort of other language, basically. I feel like it's like to victory or something like that, you know. Like. Possibly. Um, Death to us. Death to us. Yeah. 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 Anything yes, else? It sucks. Um, Anything else from anyone else? So you have two days in there. So imagine that basically you have two days. You sort of take a long rest, and then you get to you know wait for Quill's arm to be patched up and get the supplies, and the ship gets fixed, and then you scoot off. So if there's Anything else you want to do? I think you originally planned like not spending too much time in the city itself, but it was more like if you wanted, like you guys could ask Quill to send a sending spell to somebody or something like that, you know? I'm your boy, I'm your messenger. I'm yep. going to be encouraging Quill this whole time to send a message to Vala. Please. But I, I don't think we can. Why not? Because we, we do you know, not trust Valor anymore? I do. I trust Valor, but she is in a a massive ship with Starbane, who infects people's minds with dreams. We've seen it happen with Nova. If yet to trust a man we've just met in the same place, <laughs> in but, the same place. But but if 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 Starbane is tracking anybody, he would be looking deep into the mind of his own daughter, someone who was travelling with us before, and also his knights of. Gideon, who are basically the closest people to him. But but this this Maximilian, he, he did show honor and he did he he is a good person and also it's it's the type of person I think that Starbane wouldn't be looking at. Valor, on the other hand, clearly still cares for us. Quill, you're usually a man of facts, not assumptions. Mm -hmm. True. I just think you should be careful. I'm being careful not sending a message to Vala. Do I just want to know how she is? She's okay. Just let me know. Is she okay? I, I saw her. She's fine. She, she doesn't look is, tired. She didn't look tired. She's getting her eight hours she's of sleep. She's getting well fed. She's getting her sleep. She's dressed very nicely and she's under the care of Maximilian. How many daggers does she have? How many daggers? I didn't, didn't see, see any. Carrying any weapons. Unless she's concealing them. Wrong. <laughs> or she's just I would safe. expect at least like four or five by this point, because she was building them up at a gradual rate. Oh, so I hope she's got too many. That sounds like a lot for a child to no, have. No, no, I think it's good. It's good. Mm. It was very promising when she started to gather the weapons. Felt felt good about it. Okay. Uh, so you're not sending you're not casting sending on Valor. Not on Valor, no. Okay. <laughs> Anything else from anyone else? If not. One night, yes. maybe on the, after I've gotten all my stuff. Yes. Can I? What would Quill be doing around? I don't know. Say ten o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> You've only got one wing. Not that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ten o'clock at night, man. I don't know. <laughs> Early bird gets the worm. He'd be sleeping. <laughs> right. <laughs> Late bird gets the worm too. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome back, Rav. So if you're sleeping... I'm getting ready to perch my sleep. Okay, you just hear this. Okay, that's Nova. Nova, Nova, I know that's you. Can I come in? Yes! Can I come in? Yes! Hi! Hi. Can you just uh, stick your wing out like this? 
Like, what, like, wh uh, why? Just stick. Yeah, wait, oh, yeah. yes, why? I was going to pull out. The thing. Okay, hold on a minute, just hold this. What are you doing? Right there, and then I've got a notepad and a pen, and I'm just like, if you're, okay, like, do this, wave, wave. Waving, wave, waving, wave, what are you doing? Keep waving, keep waving, keep waving. No, okay, 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 okay. Is this to do with the materials you were bringing on earlier? Actually, hold on, I've got an idea. And then I get a glamour disc out, and I like, yeah. And scan him with the, this, the illusory device. So, how do you want me to stand? Just like, yeah, wing out, wing, wing out. out. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm wing perfect, out. Perfect, I'm wing out. Perfect, perfect. Okay. okay, I'm just gonna measure this. What are you I'm doing? Measure this. I'm gonna measure this. Shh. I'm gonna measure this. I'm concentrating. Shh. Okay. okay. Cool. I think I've got everything. Bye. Yeah. And the gamma yeah. disc is a perfect replica of like Oof. a little tiny 3D model of Quill. So, I guess you're already gone, right? <laughs> Fine. Okay. Water. Right. Hmm. With that, um, yeah, you basically pass through and begin sailing out into the open ocean, heading towards the Hawkstorn mm. Archipelago, a series of islands where Sentry now knows um, the there is a, a volcano that leads to Volcanos, the secret facility that was once part of Solvin, the divine uh, the d divine domain. About after the first day, um, look out your guardian crew member who's currently up on the top perch of the ship, uh, calls out probably about mid-afternoon, early uh, early evening. Approach, something is approaching. I have something in the distance, uh, quite small, approaching, Captain. It just calls down. Can you identify what it is? Uh, it, it's strange, Captain. It, it appears to be a very small thundercloud, <laughs> but very small. Uh, no bigger than a man. Look out, are you... Have you taken a rest recently? I have been achieving approximate... Uh, the most efficient level of rest, Captain, yes. I've been resting well and... and You're reporting a is. cloud to me. It is approaching at... It is not remarkably fast, but it is approaching it, towards us. It, 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 it's not a cloud, it is moving like a creature. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to message a ring, everybody, and say, there's something strange and small approaching us. Maybe we should be on alert. Can I have a look and looking at thunder clouds? And yeah, things? you can. Uh, yeah, make a perception check for me. Do I still have the ring? I don't know, do you? I feel like I do. Yeah, well, you give us to a ride for a bit. I mean, you can. Yeah. You peer out, and you, it does. It, at first, you think maybe it's just like a smudge on your eyes, and you kind of rub your eyes a little bit. But it's just like this tiny little black smudge, just flying. But you do hear a very faint peal of thunder, like. <laughs> Just a tiny, tiny little storm, like a little, little, little baby storm. Should we <laughs> deviate around this weather storm? Arias, like, uh, it's, <coughs> the problem with our ship captain is it's quite large. It's difficult to maneuver f quickly. I mean, it's a tiny cloud. What? Yeah. What can it do? I mean, that's not a natural cloud. I don't think. And look at it. It is coming closer, Captain. It is moving at quite at some speed. Well, let's keep everybody on alert and okay. make sure that it doesn't attack. Okay. I assume. Um, maybe like a few minutes goes by and you see, approaching on the very far edge, uh, a tiny flying cloud, okay. upon which stands a man. Um, and as it gets closer... <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this is the best entrance ever. Uh, <clears throat> Ravs, uh, remind us what Johan looks like. Okay, so we I actually think we know have artwork as well. Art. well not we do. Not official art. Official art. art. Yeah. yeah. Of it's, it's in this uh, ream. That scrolls past yeah, it, you'll so get to it. Describe him anyway. Uh, he's wearing like these kind of like blues and greys. He's got kind of a long coat on, lots of belts, because he needs belts. Of course. Uh, he's got kind of long browny, greyish hair, and like mm. kind of a bit of messy, patchy, like brown and grey beard. And he's got a big fishing rod in his back and a crossbow. And uh, looks like he probably hasn't had a shower in a little while, but you know, right. he's, he's cleaned all the blood off of him. He is the shower. There, there he is. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, um, and he, is, he appears that he, this human, and, and only a couple of you actually recognise him. Um, and Johan, for your benefit, there's only a couple of people on this ship you recognise. Mm -hmm. But he appears to be standing on a five foot cloud. Oh. Like a tiny little grey thunder cloud that you can see like little bits of like light, almost like little bits of lightning kind of inside it. And it's just, he stood on it and it flies at his command. Um, I would say that I look a little bit like, oh god, I don't know how to control this thing. <laughs> He's kind of yeah. uncertainly wobbling around. Yeah. But are and you trying to look like, you, I'm trying you're totally to look, styling I'm it? I'm trying to look like calm and composed, but I'm a little bit like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and but for wobbly. Johan's benefit, uh -huh. the ship you are approaching, mm -hmm. in some ways it could look quite ominous because mm -hmm. it is this dark, kind of almost jagged shape on the outside. It, it looks like, a, sh like a, a shifting shadow on the outside and it's got these sky sails on the side which kind of droop down like tendrils off of the shadow. Mm -hmm. um, and it has this big long prowl ballista on the front and at the bottom. Um, it's quite an imposing thing. Um, but you see at least some familiar uh, figures aboard it. You recognize uh, Ayla, Nova, and Lucius. Um, you also recognize Araya, who was there, when I believe, when they last met uh, Johan as well. Mm -hmm. um, but everybody else, there seems to be a large number of crew on board, um, and you recognize the bodies of Sentry and Quill, but they are no longer bodies, but standing and walking and talking. Mm. Um, Puppeteered. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you basically fly on over. I um, will... Um, Go down to starboard side. Okay. No. Port. Uh, uh, left is port. port. Yeah, that's port. <laughs> port side. Okay. Halt! Stranger! I, do not approach any closer! I don't know how to stop this thing. Wh why are you coming towards oh, the storm hey, chase? It's a, it's a, uh -huh. the, the, I'm just, the, oh, names. I'm not just, Johan! Names. Uh -huh. That's the one. Uh -huh. What is a Johan? I'm just going to like... You know, it does pop. stop, but it kind yeah. of like, it, yeah. like you kind of jump off, mm -hmm. you land on thing, and then the falls cloud. off the other side. <laughs> I'm gonna hop off towards Lucius's arms. Catch me! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, okay, I'm going make, to make he's an attacking. Make an acrobatics <laughs> check, Johan. Uh oh. Uh, make a deck save, Lucius. Okay, acrobatics eight. Uh, that's a twelve. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, 12's enough where you kind of hop off of the thundercloud, Johan, and you stumble, but Lucius does not move as quickly as you'd like. So you less kind of are caught by him and more kind of like knock him down as you <coughs> land on the deck. Okay. Um, and Lucius is kind of knocked to his bottom. Stranger on deck! <laughs> Apprehend yeah, him! He's and not a stranger! Quite a few <laughs> of like the wolf pack, so you see these kind of like wolf-like humanoids. Mm -hmm turn and they're like drawing blades and you can see you know look out and a few of the others are all kind of getting ready you know expecting yeah. some sort of con stand up can I dust myself off and just like be like wait i recognize your face he's a fish the fisherman I'm Remember captain. Captain. The are we dealing with this is he some sort of pirate or something no. stand down uh i think i think I recognize him. Why do I recognize him? Oh, you were tripping your noggin when you <gasps> met him. I think you'd had some That errors. was hilarious. It yeah, sounds like you were all tripping noggins. What you are you were talking dead. about? You were dead. This man? Oh, oh Araya is just like, yes, I remember in Mirskia, yes? Uh, Johan, I remember this fellow. Ah. Some sort of um, storm oh. wizard or something. Yeah, I like, carry your ass across a river. It was like a whole big thing. It uh, was really we were looking to well resurrect uh, yourself oh, and I see. Here's the okay. thing. Uh, I kind of just, you know, I've had these visions and I stepped on a cloud, as you could see above me. And just kind of following him. It just kind of brought me here. Is it dangerous? <laughs> Is it going to attack? How did you do that? How did you yeah. know? How did you know I'm which cloud to step on? Just going to be like. Okay. It, 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 yeah. As he commands it, it kind of like floats and floats beside him. It was waiting for me on a peak, and I saw it in my dream. How did you know? It was just like not another cloud. Like what? Do you what? just jump on every cloud you find? How often do you see a cloud you can stand on? True. I'm just gonna I, like, I start poking it. So when you go poke it, it just feels like clouds. You wait, just, you pass through it. What do you mean wait? The one wing talk. One wing you. talk. <laughs> one wing talk. No, <laughs> no. Like, oh. I mean, I've got one wing, but I'm no hawk. I'm more a frail, scared. You're alive, though. Parrot. That must be why I'm having the dreams again. Dreams? What do you mean dreams? Did you not fill him in? No, that wasn't my job. I'm not taking responsibility for that. Fill me in. None uh, of you what? have filled, filled him in. Fill I, me in. Honestly, barely oh. recognise who you are. Honestly, not um, yes. Just, just you know, lots has happened. As you can see, he two doesn't, people quite honestly, if anybody should have been responsible, it probably should have been Nova. I mean, Nova. That uh, you can't out. expect Ayla or that myself does check to remember. Out. I didn't even know I was going to ever see you again. I um, thought, I much. thought, I thought, I thought the vision was done because we resurrected Quill. Is the vision tied to me or or, it, or my it vision? It was a vision maybe? about a one-eyed, one-winged hawk that had fallen from the sky, and it was sitting on a stone claw. And then it was like the claw was pointing that way. None of this. And none of it. 
it was you, apparently. There's some vision connection thing. Totally forgot my bed. I've been I... waiting for you in the Stormlands for the longest time. Oh shit. Then why? We, we, I, mean, I, I told them to tell you to meet me there. Well, I mean, I'm sorry I couldn't keep the promise I didn't even know I had. Honestly? What have you to say oh. to it, Nova? I thought the vision was to point us in the direction of the forge. There's been terrible storms there, getting worse. Oh, they're getting worse. People can't well, even get into the storm wait, look, anymore. The look, storms have grown we, so bad. We went to the forge and we got sentry back and then things happened and we were in Gusthaven and stuff blew up and then Quill came back and then more stuff blew up and then we left and then we were under the sea and then we were in space and then we were on the ship and then the ship blew up and then we were in the city of glass and that blew up and now we have a dark angel following us and a dragon following us and I haven't exactly had the time to keep track of everything! A tiny little halfling is like, Oh dear, looks like you've upset Miss Nova again. Oh, that, hang on, I'll go get her something to calm her down. I'm just going purple at this point. He's like, Why like, is it me who has to be responsible for everything? I'm trying to do everything I can already. Now, oh, now I'm like okay, a big no, like, no, glass of okay. milk. Like. No, I, can, I just, can I just put my hand across her mouth and just go, shh. I mean, the rest of you can take those as well. I was, and just like pat her on the head I'm, until she stops. I thought you were a dream. I was high off my high elf nippies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> As this is all going on in your hand, you see descending from like the upper part of the ship where the helm is, you see this golden guardian with a halo and like one set of luminous golden wings, but the other half seems to have been melted and broken, um, mm -hmm. kind of descends quite sheepishly and stands behind Sentry. You travel with strange company, Sentry Guardian. That's us. Yeah. We're weird. Yeah. It's very odd. I'm just collecting my milk, little, little fan there. Look, it's it's okay. it's okay. You're, I mean, you're here now. The storms have gotten worse, sure, but now I know. I mean, at least tell me everything you know. I was wondering, should we move this down into the meeting room? We yes. should do this. It be best not for everyone's ears. And yes. You see the wolf pack kind of. Where sit here where is oh, where okay. is Perry and uh, the the other? Lads? Blew up. Who's Perry? He blew up. You again. You did. It's fine. There's a lot that's happened. You met him so briefly. So much has happened. Yeah, you did very, oh, very. Oh, the fast one. Guy. He was friendly with you. Yeah. From my school. I remember now. Okay. He blew okay. up. No, he didn't blow no, up. No, he, he went just, into a He just left. Oh, okay. It's just easier to tell you that everything. Anyway, blew up. we're wasting everybody's time here. Sorry, everybody. Um, we'll take. We this do know this. Man back on the same course, <laughs> Captain. I'm assuming. Absolutely. Yes. So we're still pursuing what we were before. All Absolutely. Right. All right, everyone, and you can see Araya is like commanding. It seems to be sort of in charge of the ship. Is like right back to your stations. Get on the side sails. Look out. Get on up. And but uh, good job, everybody. You all did very well. You're very uh, quick to act on my command. So. Well done, pat yourselves on the back. Well done, Lightning everyone. like reflexes. Very good. Anyway, Johan, I suppose... <laughs> they kind of like nod. Howard is like, oh, thanks very much, Captain. That's really nice of you to say. Particularly really good Lovely from words. You. Thank you, mate. Top notch <laughs> getting that milk for Nova. Very quick. No worries. Should I go be getting lunch on then? It's, uh, that getting... sounds delightful. Oh, right. Yeah, no worries. Days of flying on a cloud just left me... Quite hungry. Oh, any preferences Perfect. there, sir? Whatever you have. I'm All right, lovely. I'll put, I'll put a lovely bit of uh, guest dinner on. Hey, yeah, oh. Good job, Howard. Yeah, <laughs> oh, sounds thank excellent. you very much, Century. Right, you need just toodles down. And I'll well, Howard's anyway, Johan. I'm going to spit in it. <laughs> it adds flavour. Honestly, we're used to it at this point. Okay. It's well, nice. welcome to the storm chaser, anyway, which is ironic, I suppose, since the storm chased us. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, let's let's go down to, I guess, captain's quarters. Uh, yes. When I was approaching this ship, Mark, did I see any oars or anything? Despite the fact we're in the sky. No. No. no you didn't. No. Okay. Um, yeah, the ship itself it has this kind of strange shadowy quality to it, which does give it quite jagged sides. Mm. But it doesn't have any like clearly distinct swords connected to it. You remember that the swords in your vision were curved, they were scimitars. Mm. Um, curved swords. Curved swords. Um, so yeah, you all head coming. down below, yes? Into Or like you go into the captain's, the meeting room that you have, yep. and next to the captain's quarters. The smash table. You replaced oh, yeah. the table. We oh yeah, sure, the we table. fixed everything. We yeah, spent, we we did. spent we did. 50 yeah. gold on furniture. Yeah, you did. Cool. Um, cool. cool. Yep, yeah, you make your way into the, uh, a, a kind of, 
a state room almost. There's like a large oval table with various chairs decked around it. Um, there are some maps and things like that kind of sprawled out across it. Seems to be some connect, you know, part mm -hmm. of the crew, the cat, the officers' meeting chambers, basically. Um, yeah, and you all sit down. Um, the Herald is just following Sentry. Like, unless you tell Herald not to come <coughs> in, she just is following Sentry quietly behind um, until she's told, no, wait out there, or like, this is private kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, I might, I might tell her to wait outside for this one. Of course, um, Sentry Guardian. What about uh, this? Yeah, the suit that you've noticed ever since you came back, by the way, the pseudo dragon has been in a bad mood. <laughs> it right. kind of stalks around. It doesn't get on anybody's shoulder anymore. It just kind of like, sn like kind of like slinks around, just kind of watching everything. Yeah, I don't. Have they got a little baby dragon? Got yeah. yeah, they do. Yeah. It's yeah. a little. It's, it's little like spy. a. It's silvery dragon, it's no asshole. bigger than a cat, really. It's a little asshole. Um, and it kind of looks at you curiously, Johan. And you've got quite high charisma, don't you? I do. It kind of like trots over to you. It kind of eyes the others and kind of just mm -hmm. like, and it's kind of got like a hissing tongue. It's like, mm. and it kind of like sniffs you and kind of like looks at I'm going to lower my hand to it. Yeah. And just see if it. Yeah, it kind of like comes up and it kind of like sniffs your hand and like mm -hmm. licks it and then it crawls up onto your arm. Mm -hmm. Watch out for your gold with that thing. It, it likes gold. That is a Dragonborn agent that is currently making sure everything is kosher in the Storm Chaser. It keeps pissing at us. I don't like yeah, this little shit. Yeah, it's not a fan of us. Like, we haven't given him gold in a while. Does it belong to you? No, it belongs to a Dragonborn island uh, on a place called the Vivex. You, Johan, in your mind, um, you feel the pseudo dragon kind of projects these images or these feelings into your head. Um, and it kind of flashes images of these guys and distrust, caution. Does it now? Ooh. So as long as you're not You guys left it for like three days. Hey, we don't know this. Yeah. I'm going to turn to it and I'm going to like give it a little knowing nod. Okay. Again, yeah. it kind of like, yeah, and it mm -hmm. kind of like, yeah. And I'll let him down onto a table or something. Yeah. So <laughs> as long as nobody's working for Starbane's forces, I believe this, this will be perfectly fine. I'm not even certain who that is. No. Anyway, good. good. Fill us in, Johan. Is it Johan or Johan? I Either's fine. I I prefer Johan, but right, Johan. Yes, Johan. It is okay. Ah, uh, sorry, but such a messy entrance. You know, first time flying on a cloud. Very impressive. New experience. To, you managed to uh, find us in the middle of the sky. Well, I I kind of thought you know I could maybe have a bit of a cooler landing, but I I don't know how to fly it yet. Quite, it quite seems like it bit. flew you rather than the other yes, way around. Yes, yeah. I kind of just stood on it and I, I thought I'd have some time to get my bearings, but I guess it had, a, had its own will because it brought me straight here. Mm. No yeah. toilet bricks. Don't worry, my last flight was not <laughs> nearly as graceful. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, okay, so a cloud brought you here. You had visions of me specifically. Well, well, I guess you were dead. At the I, time, yeah. I'm here now. These horrible visions of, come in the middle of, this. <laughs> of things to come, and I saw you in my dreams. Okay. A, a one-eyed, one-winged hawk soaring through the sky, crashing. Crashing? Over the storm winds. Sounds like you. And then perched on a claw. And then, you know, I told all of these people when they managed to resurrect you to find me in the storm winds, for the storms in Mirskir are getting worse. And, and I guess nobody passed on the memo. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I was sitting in there for a while. These guys in, like, blackened armour started to come around and they were looking Ew. around, oh. you know. Oh. Blackened how? What, what sort of colours? The uh, dragon sent messages of curiosity, interest. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, this, okay. This dragon is your friend, yes? <laughs> It is no, an ally. No, it's a little shit. I don't trust it. Keeps hissing at me. Little mm. shit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it, it, um, it's, it's making. It's reporting back. Mm -hmm. The dragonborn are very protective of Eros, as are we, and making sure that nothing bad is happening. Mm -hmm. Considering we are on the front lines, essentially, of Starbane and his forces. Mm -hmm. Do I know of? This that we discussed. I think it was more in your visions, in your dreams, um, when you saw the ship with the the curved bladed oars, 
and the woman at its helm with the flame red mm -hmm. hair, the fiery hair. Mm -hmm. You uh, once you and once you and the hawk arrived, you travelled with the ship back towards Mirskir, and in amongst behind the barrier of clouds in your vision, you saw a large draconic shape moving. Oh, cute. In there. Mm, okay. Cute. <laughs> Okay, I can't wait to hear this vision. <laughs> um, okay, okay, so, uh, right, so one-eyed, one-wing, hawk, uh, debatable, but still a bird, I suppose. I did crash in the Stormlands when it took my wing, so, I mean, the similarities, they're there, but in terms of this claw that I was perched on, I don't know what that is. I mean, neither do I. Okay. Um, it's a vision. I, it's I thought it was the thing that pointed they're towards the Midnight's. The it, it was. Porch. It was. Yeah. It, it was. It was. It was a landmark that yeah. did that. Quill, make a religion check for me. A religion. And Johan can make this as well. Religion. In fact, actually, that. Sentry can make yes. this. Religion. Okay. Just towards mm -hmm. the So religion checks. Yeah, we found. We found it. Six. Six. Seventeen. Nineteen. Nineteen. The two of you are familiar enough, Johan, because of your experience with these visions, and Quill, be your connection to Hesper. Sometimes <coughs> in things like visions and dreams. A thing can mean more than just one thing. You crash landing on this claw, maybe it was a way to help point the way to the forge. It could also have a greater meaning. Um, okay. Same with you crashing in the Valley of Storms in Johan's vision might have been a reference to when you originally crashed there. It could also be a prophecy for something in the future. You don't know. Okay. Okay. Visions are funny things. They're often vague and have double meanings. They can... I guess... It would make most sense for me to tell you my most recent dreams and for you to, I guess, with me, figure out what they may mean. Okay. I'm going to, like, try and cover the little ears of the dragon. <laughs> Just like... Yeah, it would. So if you try and, like, properly try yeah. and grab it, it yeah. doesn't like that at all. And then I don't want my hands. Okay, yeah, you, you okay. see its little tail, which does have mm -hmm. this stinger, begins, mm -hmm. like, what, like, shifting back and forward. And it's like... <laughs> I back away from the dragon. <laughs> and it like leaps down and it mm -hmm. goes into a corner and just sits in the corner. As the storms were getting worse over Mirskir in this in the Stormlands, I I had to leave and I started to dream again around a month ago. And in my visions I saw the one eyed, one winged hawk leave the Stormlands and it led me to a mountain. And that mountain I went to, and was where I found the cloud. But further on in my dreams, it, it led me to a ship, which I guess might be this, but I don't seem to see any curved swords. And So curved swords? Yes, for like, oars, very curiously. Interesting. Oh. No sails, but curved no sails. swords instead of oars. Yeah. And at the helm of the ship, I saw a fiery-haired woman. I mean, was it this fiery-haired woman? The shape was, was indistinguishable. Like you didn't have any like a physical shape. It was almost long flame like, like flames. Yeah. If I hadn't have known any better, the ship could have almost been made of the smoke from these flames. It was that oh. that's intense. Quill. Yes. Smoke like is very apt. Mm -hmm. When you came back, you mentioned, or did you actually mention anything to us specifically, or was this all in your head that I heard from Mark? I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> you saw ships in the outside of Arrows. Oh, Starbane's ships. No, uh, no, no, this yeah, was, I, yeah, Cardinals. this was when me and Ayla were coming back uh, from. Ah, oh, who knows? That was lands. freaking weird. We saw, I think it was Palador. Yes. Um, yes. Outside a rose on a ship, but that's not a flame-haired woman for starters, and there were no curved swords on that ship, were there? No. Um, so maybe not that one. Okay. Um, anyway, sorry, well, please continue. My purpose for being here is I feel I may be able to give you the tools you need. Because in this dream, the ship, which did not sail through the water, it sailed through the sky, much like this, which is very curious to me, so it was able, after some help, to fly through the storm clouds that no one else is able to pass through now. Oh. And... I don't know what this bears or means to you, but once we had sailed through on the ship, in the shadows of the storm was a giant draconic figure. 
I'm going to look at the little uh, dragon. Uh, oh. Wait, a c- c- kind of cracks its head. Mm-hmm. Just curious. You kind of get this image of. I'm curious. not certain what that is. What it means? Was that may, if there may be a dragon there? This is perhaps the source of the storms getting worse over Mirskir, But those are the dreams that I've had. And so was the dragon. You seem to be at the front of them all. Apparently, I am. Yeah. Um, but this dragon was it? Was it chasing the ship, or was it leading it? Or I simply saw a figure amongst the clouds. Okay, and and then the dream ends. What mountain was it that you got the the storm cloud from? The, it was the peak that resides just over the valley of storms. Yeah, like the main peak that looks down into the valley. So, do I know? What that? I guess I would know what that one is, right? Yeah, I think. Um, fuck. Uh, I think it is called. Um, uh, the Storm Spear, and it's basically the main mountain that sits at the very kind of, you know, where the valley kind of meets its point, like a valley, like a triangle shape. Yeah. It is the tallest mountain that looks down into the valley itself. Mm. Um, it was, it's the it's the goal, it's the the end point of the Messenger Guild test. You have to fly through the valley and reach oh, the shit. Storm Spear. Awesome. So yeah. Quill actually never got into it. He never reached it. Hey. Fuck. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got a couple of questions for you. Fire away. Not first, much away. Oh. <laughs> first question. Have you ever had visions before this vision? Is this your first vision? My first vision was when I was I met most of you originally. Uh, it was in the lead up to meeting you. It, after my ship crashed, I woke up with these powers. I started to have vision of the, the one-eyed, one-winged hawk. And that's all your visions have ever been, is focused that around... That was vision one, and this is vision two. Right. I saw it you. I don't... So do, you, you. do you have any ties to Hesper? Yes. Uh, oh. That was my second question. What, which god do you pray to? Hesper. Titan. Oh, interesting. And you know that in you've been hearing these the voices in the dreams. Yes. They're not enough to like really hear words, but there is mm. a humanoid man and a woman as well. Do I know? Do I know who that? You that believe it's Zephyr, the goddess. Zephyr. Yeah. Goddess mm-hmm. of storms. Goddess of storms mm-hmm. and adventure. Um, I've faintly heard whispers from Zephyr, but Hesper's I, your god. Hesper is my god, so I, the connection is stronger there. And you haven't seen Ayla at all in any of these dreams? Apparently Zephyr likes me, I have no idea. I just saw a woman with burning, literally on fire hair, at the helm of the ship leading right. us. And you, the thing is, is in the dream it was no. quite Let's specific. Like, she was scarred, you could see that this woman carried many scars, but she was laughing, like, mm-hmm. like manically as if she was enjoying like mm-hmm. this reckless adventure as the ship yeah. ploughed through the clouds and the storm mm-hmm. wall. And every time the ship, rather than the lightning hitting the ship, the lightning hit her. Mm. I might have left out a few details from my dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine because That's I right, yeah. forgot to write them down. Um, okay, so that could be a, 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 a Ganassi, potentially? A flame It was Ganassi? just the hair. What, like my hair? Was it like Perry's hair? No, it was, it was, it, it's, it's kind of difficult to tell, right, because it's a vision. Like, it lots a, of things have it different... Was it was symbolic rather it than... It was probably more symbolic. Given the fact that you were with the one-eyed hawk, and I would assume it might have been you, but I can't be certain. I don't want to be on fire, guys. Like, Let's can maybe. you, like, douse that? <coughs> the, one, the, the figure wasn't on fire. The hair was like flame. Yes. Am I correct mm. in remembering you have... An affinity with the storms too. Yep, just a, a smidge. Bit, smidge. What is what's Sentry doing at this point? I think she's just, just like, listening. Just mm-hmm. listening, yeah. Because okay. this is she's not. Well, this is this is news to her. Like this is okay. all new stuff. Mm. New stuff. Yeah, you were okay. there. Yeah. When, yeah. No, I wasn't mm-hmm. there. So well, with the the, the 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 ship that you saw with the curved swords, was it like this ship, wooden and metal, or was it's it? Like, like it was made of smoke. Made of smoke. But flying so through the air, but black? like dark. Yeah, it was black. Yes. Could it be a, a? Could it be a? I mean, the the storm chaser is black. It's it made, could of shadow. It's made be. to look like mm-hmm. shadow. No, I, I just wondered if it, it could, could be, be a, a starship. Maybe. 
I mean, if it is this Or it could ship. be me flying this ship into a storm and cackling like a maniac. I mean, Please don't let me do that, by the way. I don't ship, think it sounds like a good idea. This ship can't fly through storms. And it can't fly through whatever's plaguing Mersco right now. Yet. Not yet, no. That's but not where now. I come in. Unless, uh, unless what you that? make it that way. Why? What What can you do to make... Again, I don't want to fly through a storm. These though. strange really? whispers I've had from Zephyr and Hesper... I don't, I don't quite understand them, but I, I feel like I may be able to do something, some ritual or enchantment. I, I'm not quite certain how, but I feel like I can. Why else would the cloud have led me here? On, on the ship. A ritual on, on the ship? You, I mean, you don't know, but maybe. I don't know. You just also, know you have some sort of... The ritual in your head, it's like... The, mm. It's like an ability to draw the storms to a point, a person probably, mm -hmm. a way to channel the energy away from hitting the ship um, to hitting the... <laughs> I'm pointing so I don't talk about it. Um, drawing it away from damaging the ship or whatever's around it and channeling it to a person. Mm -hmm. um, and it's maybe it's something you need other help with you're not sure like you you're not an engineer you just mm -hmm. have the magical components uh -huh. in your head like the the runes the enchantments uh -huh. itself i can draw the symbols but i'm not sure if, if i will need any help so you want to create a living lightning rod effectively i mean we've got one already i'm not a lightning rod it still hurts pretty much you channeled lightning back in that to place it. It still That's hurts true. That is also true. Mm -hmm. And also, flame red hair, channeling lightning into a oh, cell. Oh, great, so you want to fry me just because I have red hair. Apo Thanks! <laughs> it sounded like you enjoyed it. Apologies great. as well, I should stop calling you the one I talk. Johan. Quill. Quill. And then one hand, mm -hmm. handshake. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Apart from... <laughs> and I <laughs> never Instead of, you Instead of using two hands. I see you on your feet last time you were in the back of a cart. Well, thank uh, you for helping my friends. Get me uh -huh. back up again. Uh, I'm Johan. I'm Sentry. Sentry. It's good to meet you. Yeah. Thank you too. You were tripping balls. <coughs> yes. He met, he met you before. Yeah. Mm, but he just shouted at me for not taking notes. <laughs> Apologies. I mean, to be fair, his homeland is like... <laughs> been consistently plagued with one goal of his character being there was stop that from happening. <laughs> I trust you to do that. You're dead. I was dead. <laughs> Johan, you... Tom knew. Quill you, didn't. Um, you've come at a very interesting time in our lives. Unfortunately, the first time we are also in a predicament. Uh, we are also in another predicament right now. Mm -hmm. I can see you have your hands very full. Yes. This isn't quite a pressing matter, yes. but I'm simply here to provide you the tools you're going to need for when you think you're ready, because if there uh, is a dragon there, then that's... you better be ready. And Was it a big one? I will be waiting for you there. <laughs> uh -huh. Right. Yes. But not for long, I suppose. Assuming I don't die. Right. <laughs> well, I, I, I can't really get in without you guys, so, you know, I'll kind of just be like sitting nearby. But you did get oh, out okay, without so... us. Well, I left before it got too bad. I see. When, okay. the, when the folks in the blackened armour started snooping around, I... Yeah. Time figured, to leave. Time to get out. Mm. Mm. Did, did the, did, did the armour have any emblems on it? What, what race were they? What were they? It's hard to tell you. I only saw them really from a distance. Yeah. Um, the best. Humanoid, most of the time. The armor didn't really have any symbols with them, but you know that they had... Some shapes. They had some, they had some shapes and shades. They had purple, like, yeah. like, yeah. like tabards yeah. and things. Yeah. 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 Some shades of purple yeah, okay. uh, tabards. Yeah, okay. Stupid, sexy, starving. Um, yeah. You also remember they had a strange creature, kind of uh, metallic, but it seemed to be... Um, oh my god, Metal Sneak. No. <laughs> <laughs> seemed to be uh, <laughs> some sort of like construct like mm -hmm. device that was with them you know you're not quite sure what it was but sort of like an armored spider or like a three-legged crab <laughs> your favorite <laughs> <laughs> and that was when i decided they had a oh, no. <laughs> terrifying beast like but made of metal with many legs ah, good. Oh, three of oh. three legs but that's too many legs one more than many, yes. yes. Um, Speaking of which, is that thing still with you? Scorp? Smeek. Scorp? Oh, Scorp? Scorp is not with us, no. Scorp. We had to leave Scorp him. Sure what a shame. Oh, yes, I know. He was such a lovely... Did you? Oh, what a delightful creature. Yes. Mm. 
No, he wouldn't. You didn't mean Scorp, I didn't mean did Scorp, no. no. Oh, you didn't mess it up. <laughs> best in his own environment, I think, rather than coming with us on this ship. Well, is he best in his own environment? It doesn't sound like Mirskare is... Well, he, no, it doesn't sound like he's great. He repped, he repped um, Shep's part, so, you know, as kind. Is that how you... Uh... Scorp? His kind repped fisherman's... Yeah. yeah. Ships apart, so I'm not very fond of them. Like a scorb thing. Yeah, I'm glad he's not yeah. on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> well, scorb is a good boy. Is a good one, but uh-huh. you know. We can't treat them all the same. <laughs> it's like when people think the wild elves are all terrible people. And right? so far, and they're only half right. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> kidding. <laughs> In Mirskir, they're not so bad because okay. Mirskir has, um, the people of Mirskir have this very pragmatic, like, you've got to do what you need to do to survive. Uh-huh. Um, wild elves are actually really helpful. Okay. And, and there is a kind of a bit of a, they're more integrated into society. In other countries, they're more like, well, we're just going to come and take what we want. Okay. Whereas in Mirskir, it's like, oh, we'll get fucked by the lightning too. Let's mm-hmm. all work together. So I think Johan actually probably has a pretty good opinion okay. of wild elves. Um, okay. I have a, well, there's a couple of things we could do. However, I feel like we all trust you, Johan, based on your visions before. I mean, if he helped bring me and Sentry back as well in some part, then yeah. that's all the trust. It's, it's less the trusting Johan, it's more the visions and making sure that those are things that we don't just recklessly follow our assumptions of I, I and can... drive Ayla into a lightning storm thinking that that's what we should be doing. I don't know if it's how the eye works, but I could ask Johan specifically about the vision and then just find that out was, the vision. Yes, that was the other thing I was going to mention. You do have the ability to I don't know see. if it would just let me see what Johan saw or it would just give me the answer. You could wouldn't ask it be the question of what... Just ask what would happen? You can use the eye to peer into the past, the future, or the present. I think it's only the near future, though, isn't it? It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. But what you know, Could and change. you know this from Hesper, is the further ahead you look, the, the more uncertain and, change, and more mm. likely it can be to change. Um, but you know how to do this ritual in some way. It, it, it's natural to you. Yes. I've never done it before, but I feel like when... It's in front of me, I can do it. Kind of like Vala then, I guess. Mm. But in terms of... Well, you asked me to explain it to you, I'd have no chance. I get it, okay. So, I could find out who this this flame-haired woman is before we rock Ayla up to the front of the ship and she explodes. Yes, please, that sounds like a good plan. Sure, I mean, Mm -hmm. great. I I wonder if you can channel it through Howling Gale. No, he's off in her own world. Okay. Um, Again, kind of want to keep the hammer and my body alive. I could power it up. Hmm. Mm. A lightning rod from a hammer. Well, you anyway, well. anyway. It would be a nice experiment anyway, you can, <coughs> because if you have similar powers to what I can do with my eye, you might actually potentially be able to join me on the vision. I don't know. So Ooh, you could you could maybe witness the ritual itself. Mm. Oh, you may be able to help me if if this works. Maybe that depends on the question. Maybe that's yeah. how I'll understand it better. I was thinking of just asking who the flame-haired woman was, but I could ask about the vision. It might not give me the full answer though. If you piece together this question of who the flame-haired woman is in such a way that allows you to see the environment she's in and what's happening at the time. What is the flame-haired woman's purpose in the ritual? That sounds pretty good. That sounds good, yeah. Okay. Not to give too much of a hint, but that's a very specific, with yeah. detail. You want question. to get the right time and place. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Johan. There might be some whooshing. I don't know if this will work. It might just be for me. I'm, this is just an assumption at this point. Okay? Okay. So I'll put my hand on his shoulder and then say, who is the f- flame... No. <laughs> no. No. What is the flame-haired woman's role in the ritual? Okay. Johan doesn't share in the vision. Ah. It's just for you. Ah. Your <laughs> eye, as Shaking you channel the power. You, Johan, you do see, though, Quill's eye, which um, I think before would have been uh, bandaged. Um, you actually see it turn, and it's kind of got this swirling storm in the eye itself and you see a flash of lightning across the pupil, and your vision, Quill, turns to the familiar misty cloud, 
as it begins reeling, and you know it's it's channeling you forward in time. Mm -hmm. You see, gosh, you would see a lot. Oh, <laughs> that's good right. to hear. I think he picked the right. You word. see the storm chaser. Different, perhaps. Maybe some modifications. Oh. New weapons. Perhaps some armor. You see your companions. Most, for the most part, the same. Except Sentry. Mm. Sentry seems more powerful. Her matrix is a different color. Uh, okay. And just... Spoiler. There's a transformation there that is yet to come to pass. And I can't see the full transformation. You can't see it. It's yeah. kind of clouded, misty, as because as you're seeing it, it's kind of passing over the storm because you're barely touching the storm chaser as the vision then becomes in focus around Ayla. Oh, Perfect. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You see the storm chaser heading into Mirskit towards the Valley of the Storms, where a thick wall of cloud has formed around like a barrier, a wall around the valley itself and terrible, violent storms completely surround it. You are there with a grim purpose beside Ayla, staring forward. This is a destination that you are, you, this is a destiny to meet. Mm -hmm. The ship itself begins to plow through the storm wall and these terrible bolts, which you know will tear the ship apart if it tries to channel forward, but in a glowing circle of lightning-colored runes, gripping two metal uh, poles emerging at the front of the on the prow on the front deck near the ballista, gripping these two poles is Ayla's body. Her muscles tense and bulging. These tattoos, like like lightning patterns, spread across her arms as she grips it. The bolts reach the deck and then whoo, swerve at the last minute directly into Ayla's body. She does wreathe in pain, but grins that barbarian rage just emblazoned on her face as the bolts pass into her and just seem to become absorbed. Each one, as it does, these tattoos begin to glow and crackle like lightning as they spin around her arms up into her neck. As she just grips it, more and more bolts heal, and you, you're standing beside her and you see blood kind of pouring out of her mouth as more and more hit her. You try and heal her as best as you can as the ship powers through and then eventually... It hits calm. Ayla's skin sizzling and smoldering from these constant strikes of lightning. And you there healing her as you go. Uh, Johan also beside you both kind of like traveling through as you emerge into the Valley of the Storms. The Storm Spear Mountain at its very edge as a draconic roar erupts. And that's where the vision ends. Except this one is an actual draconic oh. roar. <laughs> Shit! Ah, that's pretty. Uh, so, uh, I don't know if you just saw what I saw when I had my dreams, but you down for that? Oh, you didn't see. <laughs> you didn't, didn't, didn't see it. That didn't work. For and me. that was like in like an instant. Like Quill's oh. eye, the lightning flash, and then he he, he speaks. Like, yeah. I don't want to brag, but I think mine have been might have been a little bit more complete. Um, <laughs> so, flamehead woman, yes, it's Ayla. Woo! Purpose um, and potentially death. No, Interesting. No death. No this death, please. Is, the Storm Chaser is the ship. Uh, I don't know about the blade. Um, it has new weapons, so maybe that's the curved swords. It was slightly upgraded. Sentry was different. Oh. She was a different colour. Her matrix was a different colour. So okay. that's new. Uh, I couldn't see much else. Um, but yes, Ayla was channeling the lightning, and that lets us get into the Valley of the Storms. And then there was the dragon. There was a, a loud roar. Um, so that's not a, a symbol in some kind of blurred vision. That's a dragon. Um, mm. Oh dear. Was I alive? You were very alive. More alive than ever. You, you, you were channeling the lightning. You looked like you were in pain, but you were channeling pure power. And you came out of it with my assistance perfectly fine. If not... Are you going to heal me? For once, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. Like, clearly this vision is wrong. I mean, it's a vision of the future. It can change. It, things can be different. The ship looked different. That might not happen. Sentry looked different. That so might So you're happen. telling me that I have to channel some lightning and then there's going to be a dragon. 
Captain. Y yes. Uh, you hear a knock on the door. The um, the door the opens. Captain, yeah. uh, it's uh, lookout. Uh, Interesting. My apologies, Captain, for disturbing you, but First Mate Arias said I should report to you immediately. Something else is approaching. Oh, right. um, great. Uh, okay. I'll be back in a moment. <coughs> okay, well, we've got the rings. Uh, you, you head up on lookout, uh, basically, points in the direction that Johan had come from, the north. Mm. Um, fast moving skiff, small vessel, airship, airship design. It's heading straight for us. Okay, all weapons uh, focused on that point. And uh, let's Arias, calls out like, "All hands, like all hands, prepare! Penny, get on the ballista. Lancian, you down below into the into the uh, dorsal turret. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to remember which one is. It's probably wrong. There's we a need dorsal to, and then a down one. one. Araya, turn the ship so that it's pointing at it, so we're not showing its side. Yes, of course, Captain. It's coming from the north, so the direction we're heading in ourselves, anyway. Perfect. Um, it's smaller and more maneuverable." Might be tricky for me to keep uh, it from getting around us on the side. So prepare for. We're going to need to prepare all hands, basically. Look out! If you see yes, weaponry and people arming, call the shot. Yes, of course, Captain. And he scurries up uh, the top into the top. Um, yeah. Okay. Do we uh, hear all that? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unless our oh, messenger. So tell me. Did I look badass though? Very, very. Yeah. You actually. Because I might be down for it just for the fact I mean, that I look really badass. I mean, lightning anyway. Yeah, it's not, not the same this though. I this is outwards. lightning. This is insane. magical. But lightning. imagine if you could channel that and, and reuse it. That'd be cool. Can I reuse it? Did it go out again? So Did Luke, I hurt people? How do you feel about it? tattoos? Cool. You're gonna get some. I always wanted to get oh. a tattoo, but my mother never. Messenger you ring. cannot. You are very. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, Lucia. There's a skiff coming at us, and it might attack us. Oh. Oh. So, okay. well, be prepared, please. Johan, we're going upstairs. Hey, right, upstairs, right, mm -hmm. Captain? To the top deck, please. Perfect. Everyone, okay. top deck. I'm gonna have my cloud follow me above as well. But I guess it was waiting for me up. It there. was waiting for you up on the top deck. Does yeah. the cloud have a name? Does the cloud have a name? I haven't named it yet. <laughs> Shame. Oh. Cloudy. Cloudy. <laughs> Cloudy. Squall. Cloudy. Oh no. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's a little fun fancy nice. joke there. For like me. it. <laughs> You're the hottest uh, guy in the party. <laughs> You're the hottest guy in the party. Uh, so Whack. you all make your way upstairs, yes? In that case, I will let you place yourselves upon the ship as you wish. I think I'll have Harold go down below deck. You um, send her down? Yeah. Sen Are you sure, Central Unit? I wish to redeem myself. I know you do, but I want to keep you safe. Right, very well, if that is your command, and she'll head downstairs. Although, um, if you can do some healing, just I'm keep an eye out. I'm not going to be on my cloud, but I'm going to have it like hover just off the side of the boat. Yeah, sure. Like over here? Oh, uh, a little bit more over here. -ish. You place that where yeah. you want. I think here. Uh, Quill and Ada are currently facing the wrong direction. Well, I, <laughs> I'm leaving it? you to place yourself where? as you want. <laughs> my perception is unusually low today. <coughs> Both side. Yeah. Bam. So, as Lookout is not quite as effective as Quill, I believe. Um, you are pointing at it, but for the sake of the combat, I've turned the, the yeah, boat's yeah, kind of side on. Um, because Quill was not on Lookout. Lookout is, I'm gonna is good at what he does, but he's not Quill. Yeah. The ship is a bit closer to you. Uh, it's probably about 700 feet away um, when he kind of spots it, and it's coming in quite fast. It is a smaller skiff. It looks to be similar in construction to uh, an Erosian airship, mm. but has clearly been modified. Um, you can see pla uh, black metal plate armor has kind of been attached to its sides. Um, it is indeed uh, with flags of Callus Starbane. Oh. As you see, uh, the crew seem to be decked in black leather, kind of like flight suits almost, um, and there is a helmsman. Um, but as it gets closer and closer, the ballista team begin firing. Um, so Penny and Lancian, who are both in your ballista, uh, will take shots each. Do they take the first shot? Uh, yes, your weapons are actually slightly longer range than theirs. Um, so they actually take the first shots. And that's However, because Lookout saw that they were armed and ready to fire? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they, he, he called this out that you know they are coming in very clearly, Starbane or Remnant Forces absolutely calls this stuff out. Mm -hmm. um, the first shot will... Uh, the, the shots, unfortunately, this skiff seems to be much more maneuverable than the Storm Chaser. It's smaller and it ducks and weaves to the side. Um, you can see that there are a cluster more figures, but they're quite far at the distance. Um, and then it, as it gets within about 500 feet of, of the ship, it begins firing back. Mm -hmm. But you also see there is a flash of light on the deck of the skiff, and a flash of light appears on the Storm Chaser. 
Okie dokie. Uh, okay. That's a good boarding technique. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Can so we get the, the map camera? Red alert. Shields up. Oh, they've all gone on like a really. This is the first ship combat. And I realised it like, was like actual ship on ship combat. Should I get down to Phaeton? Could I have made it start raining? Yeah. Okay. So you begin. So you watch as Johan like holds his hands up to the air, and this kind of swirling storm cloud begins, and the rain begins pouring down cool. onto the ship itself as the the weather changes around you. Oh, oh great! Now I'm wet. <laughs> Okay, there two ballista fire at the storm chaser, but Araya kind of yanks the helm and you kind of have to slide for a moment as the storm chaser twists on its side as the ballista bolts go flying past, missing missing the sails. They seem to be tar- trying to target your sky sails to slow you down. Um, as we, we just are have going this repaired. to roll initiative, everyone. So what are the things that just appeared at the top, sorry? Uh, so I will oh my god! Them once we've rolled initiative. 14. I'll try to get in your dice tree. So, <laughs> just launch. Oh, Pylon Golem. Oh. Wait, you rolled 14 too? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, so nine. What? Oh! You rolled 14. We've all synced up! Oh. <laughs> well, I'm a. 16. Alright, I need to brag. <laughs> well, I mean, there is. What'd you get, Rian? 12. That's all. That evens out. 10. That evens out. It's all about 11. Yeah. Guys, we can do it. What did you roll, Rian's? Nine. Oh, What's the uh, Storm Chaser's um, dexterity modifier? Plus two. Plus two. So that is going to be a be long six. Rested, right? for the yeah. yeah. Um, for the purposes, by the way, all the Storm Chaser crew, I'm just going to have go on one initiative. Yeah. Currently on the deck, you have Araya, three Wolfpack members. Uh, Kamara is technically below decks. Uh, Lookout is up on the the actual thing. Uh, Lancian is down below, but Penny is in the ballista at the front, uh, which is currently behind where these guys have all teleported in. Um, Yeah. uh, So, Ayla, initiative. Oh, 16. 16. Johan, initiative. Nine. Nine. Quill. Uh, 16. Nova. 17. Lucius. 17. Sentry. 12. Uh, Lucius and Nova, who would you prefer to go first? Nova, uh, no, Lucius. Okay. Lucius. Okay, got that mark. <laughs> you both pointed at each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kim pointed at Trot and then said Nova. <laughs> yeah, Nova. Nova. <laughs> Nova is Spanish for no go. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Spanish for Lucius. So, <laughs> what you see appears on the top deck, the aft, uh, the fore castle. Uh, the kind of raised part of the front of the Storm Chaser, where the ballista is, is you see a three-legged black metal crab. Um, In its chest (laughs) appears to be some sort of like gyro that's kind of spinning around, and on its back it has these giant spines made of coiled, twisted metal. Um, It has some sort of rotating firearm on one hand and then a big kind of club-like hand in its other. Um, Around it there are five figures. Two of them appear to just be kind of like foot soldiers, like Starbane foot soldiers. They're wielding swords, they have black armor, and they just appear to be melee combatants. Two of them hold these long force rifles that you've seen them use before, these kind of like magically propelled firearms. Um, And then one of them is just this skin-tight leather suit and it has a curved blade that almost like a tonfa kind of it holds it backwards and it kind of goes down its forearm mask like a kind of like a respirator mask and just like a tight balaclava and it appears next to it and is kind of like looking around um Um, are they similar looking to the remnant that attacked us right at the beginning episode these do not look like remnant okay these look more similar to I think when Quill you scried on Maximilian and you saw some of the forces, Shit. Okay. you saw soldiers like these aboard Callus's flagship. These aren't like Remnant who have been on Erois. These guys are actual Space Empire forces. Fuck. Yeah. Um, they look around and you see the one in the skin tight leather points at Johan. There he is. Kill him. Uh, and- oh shit. <laughs> oh! Dude, who did you bring here? Man, I think we were all big-headed there when we I were like, realize. yeah, they're Who's it going to be? Are these <laughs> the ones we saw at the storm wall? So you watch yes. as the black, 
<laughs> the black skin type figure kind of leaps off uh, the side, does like a little flip, kind of dances to the side, skirts around, and just runs straight for Johan with this kind of gilded knife. Squeaking the entire way. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's completely silent. Oh. Sorry to disappoint you. You'd think they'd invest in talcum powder. <laughs> like, come on. Starbane doesn't skimp, yo. Yeah. Uh, does a 19 hit you, Johan? Yep, yeah, that's going to hit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is not a sneak attack. Where's some not... Helios in all this? Well, Helios can't fight, remember? Okay. He can't fight can in the can heal. Give us encouragement. He can't heal. Oh, no. can he he's just... intangible for the most but part. Does he just see this? Is he, um, he was technically below decks, but okay. if he set here as a fight, he probably would come up. He can bond with Sentry, yes. Oh, I thought he currently was. Wait, is your AC like 20? 20, 20, 20, 20 currently, yeah. yeah. Without Helios. Without Helios. Oh my god. 21 with Helios, yeah. Got the yeah, sword. I know, but still, that's plus two shield. You're going to take eight points of damage, Johan. Okay. Uh, he's going to strike you again. Uh, that's a natural one, so he misses. And then as a bonus action, he basically this uh, is going to dash. Yeah. So you get an attack opportunity against it. I've got Warcaster. You can cast a spell. So he kind of gets in fine. Cool. 10, 15, 20, uh, 25. Remaining in the rules of Warcaster, can it be any level spell? Um, I can't remember. Let me find it for you. So if wait, you tap on it, it should come up. What does Warcaster do? Like, so you can't you, I think it's a cantrip. I think it has to be a cantrip. Uh, Warcasters in Pretty here powerful. somewhere. Advantage on con saves. Uh, Should be in defeat. Use your tricks. reaction to make an opportunity to attack the spell as a casting time of one action and targets only that creature. So. Then, it, as long as it is one one creature only and it is a one action spell, then yes. Okay. Bam. Let me go to my spells. Pretty cool. Uh, uh, as a point, um, the person after this, by the way, is going to be. It's Lucius. So okay. You're next up in the initiative. Cool. Uh, I'm just going to do a third level lightning bolt on him. Alright, so that would be more than one target. Wipe him out. Just oh, is that a multi it's target? Because it, it can hit things in a line, so it has oh. to be just one target spell. Got I believe. Yeah, I don't know how many of them I've got. So it's just like a, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to so kill So shocking this guy. grasp. Yeah, uh, no, I'll like just hit him with a cantrip for now. Just hit him with a shocking grasp. Okay, cool. Um, which is touch. Hold on, shopping grass. Yeah, but when he goes past you, that'll be fine. Yeah. You just snap so, him with your shopping, shopping grass. So it should be a melee yeah. spell attack, so you need to roll yeah, okay. for an attack. And what your melee... That's oh, a nat 20! Oh, that's nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, the way that we do this, Rams, by the way, okay. is what's the normal damage on a shopping grass for you? Uh, the normal damage for a shopping grass is uh, 2d8. All right. Uh, so you maximize the dice, so okay. it'd be 16, 16, and then you roll 2d8 again. 2d8, okay, that's these suckers, isn't it? Yep. So 16 plus 5, 21. Five plus 2, tw uh, 23. 23. 23. 23 damage. So 23 damage. He is going to mm. use uh, his uncanny dodge. That means he mm. can half the damage he takes okay. from that. Um, so he takes uh, 11 points of damage. Sure. And he can't take reactions until the start of its next turn. Oh, very good. Yeah. Yeah. So as great. he kind of reaches in, slices you once, misses on the backhand, mm -hmm. you reach out, touch him on the chest, and this blast of lightning. He kind of half pulls away from it, but it mm -hmm. still catches him, and then he kind of like hops his way up the rest of the stairs okay. next to the creature. Um, ah, he like he kind of gestures. He's like, Golem, kill! And you see this big armored creature like <laughs> begin moving. Lucius. I'm gonna cast Lucius's luscious light bomb on all of them. Please, that's a What's the radius of Lucius's that's a, luscious light? Uh 20 foot. Where are you casting it? I'm going to cast it around like this. Okay, so you don't hit Penny. No. Okay. That's why I was checking. It. Yeah. It's like everybody. Huh? It will. Everyone. Yeah, it's all of them. Bam. So it's a deck saving throw for all of them, please. Uh, yes. Right, so, is that a concentration? Uh, he takes no damage. Uh, yes, it is, yeah. The golem actually avoids. Uh, he's going to take, uh, succeeds. One of the marksmen fails. One of the marksmen succeeds. One of the foot soldiers fails. Oh, wait, sorry. This is for if they end their turn there. Cool. Sorry. Uh, but anyone that starts their turn there, turn there is 2d6 cold damage. Okay. And it's difficult terrain now. Okay, and that's concentration, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Cool. After Lucius, uh, Nova. Um, are there people still on the skiff? Uh, yes, there are two gunners and some and a helmsman. And, and they are basically, uh, you can see Araya is trying to keep them from getting under and like not being able to be hit by the, the 
things, the ballista. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast um, slow on all of these guys. Okay. Um, so it's up to six creatures, 40 foot uh, cube. Okay. Uh, so I think that's one, two. What kind of saving throw is six. it? Um, it is each target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Uh, DC? 16. 16? Sixteen. No, the right, the golem passes just. Okay. Uh, one of the marksmen fails. The other marksman fails. The assassin passes. The foot soldier fails, and that's cocked. The other foot soldier fails. So basically, the golem and the assassin pass. Everybody else is currently affected by slow. Okay. Is that you, Dom? Yes. Okay. What does slow do? Slow means that they have uh, minus two AC. Speed is half. Minus two AC, minus two to a deck save uh, throw. No reactions. They can only use an action or a reaction. They can only make one melee or one ranged attack. Damn. Wait, so. And if they use sub spell, there's different stuff as well. Half yeah. speed on difficult terrain. Yeah. Half, half. Oh my Quarter. god. Quarter. Yeah. Quarter speed. Crikey, that's good. Um, the skiff is going to take two shots at the uh, Storm Chaser itself. Um, oh. Trying to target probably the helm at this point. Um, 16. 16. Both shots miss, actually. Oh. Um, the kind of ballista kind of thud, thud into the hull, but not causing any major damage, kind of maybe breaking a bit of the stairs, but no serious damage to it. Um, the helmsman of the skiff will then attempt to maneuver himself past Araya, but Araya manages to just, she spins the wheel as a hard thing and you kind of feel it kind of drifting in the air as she's trying to match and make sure that this little skiff can't kind of get under them or anything Ooh. like that. Uh, and she calls out like, hold on! And you feel the wheel kind of sliding around awesome. um, as she does so. Uh, after the skiff goes, there's a lot in this combat. So Quill or Ayla, which one of you would like to go for? I think Ayla has the high decks I... actually. Uh, I think you do, yeah. yeah. So, Ayla, your turn. They're all currently affected by some stuff. They are. They've got Luscious um, Lights and some of them have got Slow. Yeah. Does Luscious Light blind them as well? I think it does, doesn't it? Yeah. So, you have advantage on attack rolls, oh but I think oh. it also, you can't see in, so you would have disadvantage to attack them whilst they're inside. Ah. So, it would be a straight roll. So, it becomes a straight roll, yeah. But they have, they have the same trying to shoot out as well. Yeah. They can't see you you can't see them. It's just like this sphere of like orange and blue light, isn't it? Like a big Christmas world. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't really know what to do then. Um, I might have to hold my turn until they... Yeah, so you want to ready an action? Um, can I ready an action? Remember you have to, to move first and bonus action now if you want to do that. Yeah, so I'll bonus action rage uh, at the end of my turn, I think. Mm -hmm. If I can, um, I want to stick near Johan because so they're wait coming there. after him, mm -hmm. and I'll ready an attack for anyone who comes within my for any of those guys that come within my reach. Okay, cool. Uh, right, that's Ayla's turn. Twice. Quill. Can I see how many people were slowed? I guess I can't see into the lights. You don't know. For the purpose of, so can I cast spells in? You can cast spells in, but they're a disadvantage uh, if they require an attack roll. This one doesn't. For, is the crab thing a humanoid for the purposes of hold person? You don't know. You, do you want to try and figure it out? Would you that can make an arcana check, I guess. Would that take my turn? Or could mm, I I'd it? say that's a bonus action. Sure. Yeah, I'll arcana. Okay. Uh, as a bonus action then. Hold person is a action. Yeah, okay. Uh, 17 plus arcana, 23. It is definitely not a person. <laughs> it is not a humanoid. It is but. clearly a robot. <laughs> <laughs> it is like... I mean, it's got two arms and two legs. Yeah, it has three legs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Didn't see that one. Luscious light. It's a robot. Um, can I cast Hold Person at level four Okay. Uh, on three of the humans? Do you have to be able to see them? What does the spell say? Uh, choose a humanoid that you can see within. <laughs> <laughs> then you cannot see Would them. Would slow have been like that? Does slow say it's a, a humanoid creature you can see? You can also it's a time radius. it around up to six creatures of your choice um, and doesn't say anything about no, seeing. Then, it's a radius. Yeah. So. Sounds like a radius, yeah. Yeah, it's like pick a point. <laughs> boom. Tom just like, I got denied my fun thing, so I'm going to dob Kim in. <laughs> oh, look, Kim was actually. Was, <laughs> was, was actually reading her in spell mode. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Quill? I'll do a beacon of hope. Okay. Uh, right. On there. I'll let you finish that off because I don't need to do anything for that. Yeah, that's it. That's all I'll do. And okay. I'll run into the middle. That affects everybody. Right. The foot soldiers who you currently have quarter yeah. speed, yes? Two yes. Six. They take 2d6. Will you roll it now? And it's cold damage, yes? Eight. 
Uh, eight to both. Does that trigger my dichromancy? Uh, it, it would have it's... when you first cast it. Right. So who do you want to affect when you first cast uh, it? The assassin. The assassin. How much damage would it have been? That would be eight. eight. So it's a level four plus four charisma. Yep, perfect. Uh, so the foot soldiers, you hear like these kind of cries like, ah! Uh, and then you hear the kind of slogging of feet. So at quarter <laughs> speed, they would they know they'd be blinded inside of it. So it's seven feet, right? If it's average of thirty. Which is yeah, which we five, round down to five, basically. So it's one square. So you get to move they, one. They can square. move one square. <laughs> but I'm just trying to figure out if they would know where it ends. Let me make a quick intelligence check for them. So Twenty-five. They're pretty dumb. Yeah. <laughs> so he just moves forward one. Uh. Uh, that's pretty much all they can do. Okay, we'll just remember he's there. He's like there. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can just hear these kind of like armored feet like trying to stub through because um, they're slowed physically Ooh. and at the same time this thing is harming them all around their, their moment. Um, um, they can make wisdom saving throws at the end slow. of the turn. Okay, at the end of the turn they will. But they also uh, take acid What's damage. the DC? 16. 16. Um, one fails, one passes. So, those so we'll are say soldiers. boy on the stairs has, has succeeded. Are they both still in the line? They are both still in it. Reflex save. Oh, dex save, sorry. Uh, minus two. Minus two. So one gets 16, one gets four. Uh, one passes, one fails. Okay. Um, five. Damn, so this half combo. We're just going to melt these yeah. dudes. <laughs> well, no, no, there's no, a pretty already. chunky robot there. They're already dead. That's acid damage, yes? That's acid. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, they literally do very little on their turn. Um, after them, it then goes to... Johan. Okay. Where does who's, the luscious light? Who is our friend amongst us? So the luscious yeah, light 30, 30, 30, 30. would be. So it's like. But then it's. This is a friend. That, I mean, down this yeah. way. So who, if you didn't want to hit that, it'd be five, ten, fifteen, twenty. It's twenty foot radius, right? Yeah. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah. 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 Technically, you're hitting this guy. Who's that well. guy? That's one of the. So uh, our, the friend wolf pack. A, our friend is at the very back. Yeah, you've yeah, got basically there. a ballista here, which uh -huh. is like firing here, uh -huh. and then the, the orb of light... So we're on light. the very edge of it, though. Yeah. yeah. That's all bad? That's all bad. All bad. Okie dokie. But okay. it's good, but it's uh, bad. Can I get... Uh, maybe it's about where that guy is? We'll be uh, entering into. I don't want to... You move where you want to move, my dude. Okay. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, yep. 30. Okay. okay, you are a 2d6 cold as he enters the when sphere. When you start your turn. Okay, it. when you start Ooh. the turn. So if you end your turn. So you yeah. enter, uh -huh. you're blinded uh -huh. at this point. You're like, uh -huh. ah, you can't see it. There's this blinding bright light all around you. There are also you. whips of orange light that like, will hit you. <laughs> it was also uh -huh. difficult uh -huh. terrain, so I guess you just used pretty much oh, all yeah. your yeah. So technically oh, yes. you'll be back here. Okay. What do you want to do? You're kind of blinded as well. I'm blinded? Yes. yes. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah, the last like, like, uh, pretty, uh, pretty gruesome. Okay. Because it was Hunger of Hadar, but we've renamed it because that would be bad. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to take that back? Do you want to retcon that? Uh, no, I like where I'm at. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do I enjoy is, the pain. Is my cloud in pretty much a straight line for these folk? Uh, it could be in a line for like these three, or yeah. it could be in a line for these two. I'll go with the three. So bigger. he kind of like flies the up bigger here. Is better. Okay, and I'm going. So you to see cast... the cloud fly up, like horizontally with the ship. Mm -hmm. This kind of cloud looms up, like aligned with the mm -hmm. the thing there. And mm -hmm. is it gonna? Yes, and from the cloud. I'm going to shoot out a fifth level lightning bolt. Wait, you can, you can cast it through the cloud? Yeah. That's the cloud amazing. has its own lightning bolt. It's yeah. a Holy cloud. crap. That's well yeah. Fifth level. Fifth yeah. level. Yikes. We don't have that. I want the cloud. Yeah. Okay. Pretty powerful. I actually, right. So you don't see what happens though because no, it's happening within shit. the orb of light. Uh -huh. we just you hear. <laughs> Uh oh, did I just overcharge it? Robots have been. Oh, what's that? Is that No, I, t I took well, the. Okay, mine's yes. two, don't worry. The they do figure it doesn't matter. Did you figure out the damage? I don't need to. Fair enough. I don't need to. That wasn't uh, the only thing you hit, though, right? You hit three people in the line. I did hit three people in the yes. line, I think. Yep. Okay. Oh. You, don't, you didn't see what happened, guys, uh, so. Yeah. That, yeah. I suppose that wouldn't have triggered my temporous magic, would it? 
It doesn't, it's not you casting a spell. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take a lot of cold damage. That's fine. Uh, so at the end of your turn, make your dexterity saving throw. Okay. Do you not have your own spell? Uh, oh, that's definitely a field. Oh, Sentry, uh, you should have gone before a, you. That's Sorry. Five. Okay, that's right. Five, so you're going to take some acid oh, damage. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, full damage. <laughs> 12. 12 acid damage. Well, that's less than <laughs> ideal. Never roll that when hitting the enemies. Sentry, I missed you. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> no I'm going to move up this way just a little bit. Uh, is that 30 feet? I can't quite see. Uh, to where? Ten, to this boy. It would, be uh, it, it would be difficult to rain, so as soon as not, you step into... Not to into move. It. I'm not going to move. Oh, not to move. No. Yeah, then yeah, it's yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Spot on. Yes. Fantastic. Flame yeah. You marks. don't know where he is. Okay. Please. Uh, so DC 13. 13. Uh, that is a pass. Okay, so, so half damage. Half damage. 10, 12, 17. 17, so half that to 16, 8. 8, eight damage. And that, you definitely hear like a... As this kind of lance of fire, you just target nice. where you remember it being, and this beam of light disappears into Lucius's spell, um, and you hear like the creak and melting, bubbling sound of metal. Nice. Um, nice. Damn I'm gonna try and get through a round, and then four. we'll take a break. We're just assuming this thing is alive. We'll take four damage point. from. Who knows? It's well. good to fire. <laughs> We're just yeah. firing everything into this. You hear? It's like the last Jedi. Yeah, <laughs> when they're firing at Luke, I think you've got him. <laughs> Well, hello. 15, 20. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! My action oh, 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 Your reaction oh, goes oh. off. It flies. You see these jet boosters in its feet as it launches That's itself cool. out of the luscious light. Awesome. Any, like, sparks <coughs> then, on it? Or? Yeah, these oh. pylons, these spines on its oh. back are crackling with lightning. Oh. <laughs> um, Oops. Oops. <laughs> it lands. Ayla, the hammer comes down. Okay, that was a 19 and a 15, so add 8 to both of those, and I'm pretty that's sure that's going to be a hit. Yep. Um, so. Kill it, kill him. With your lightning kill, hammer. Kill him. Um, can I make the choice not to make my aura affect yeah. him? Yep. I think I can Absolutely choose. Absolutely, you can do that. Uh, so one will be 13 damage on the hammer, and one will be 9 damage on the hammer. Okay. 22 points of damage. You hear the hammer kind of slamming into this thing and you can see like metal denting and breaking and it just kind of like spins around. It does not seem to be affected by the slow spell. Um, it was one of the things that passed the saving throw. Okay. Um, and yeah, on its turn, it then basically kind of looks around, designates Lucius um, as uh, the creator of this kind of like spell and it pummels him twice with his big meaty fist. You can see that it's, that. Meaty it's fist. big like metal fist is like glowing with like a violet energy um, that uh. is being channeled by the pylons. Mm. Can we do con saves for this as well? Uh, 18 to hit. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, that was a natural two, so only a nine to hit on the I second one. So the first three. one, no. <laughs> natural two. two. Everyone's natural favorite, two natural any. two. Uh, and then 3d6 force damage. So, Lucius, this is going to be 6, 10, 19 points of damage. What's my con? Uh, it will be constitution saving throw, and then the DC is going to be... Oh, that's the 3. Doesn't matter. So it, fails, it goes it away. Goes. Lucius's luscious light blinks out of existence um, as the thing ends its turn there, basically. Um, and it just kind of <laughs> begins looking around. Um, you see the luscious light spell fade, and the enemies become apparent once more. Um, of which, these two marksmen, no longer blinded, will move up. Still slowed. Still slowed. They will take one shot each. Uh, one shot, or well, in fact, probably both shots towards uh, Johan, actually. Uh, so that was their, <laughs> their order. Johan. Uh, Johan. They only get one attack each. Uh, 18 to hit one from one. That's going to happen. And a 22 to hit from the other. I think that might do it. Yeah, yeah. it might do it. I really so want 15 it. points of piercing damage as you are. <laughs> one bullet comes flying in. Oh. Um, and then yeah. <laughs> five points. I rolled a one on the next damage roll. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so these two bullets, bam, bam. You kind of throw Wait. yourself to one side. One scrapes along your arm, but the other kind of catches you in the shoulder. And you can see them like... Trying to bring it back, but their speed is heavily lowered. Oh, I just, uh, I just, I just, I just said that, yeah. Thank you, Quinn. Oh, should I use just uh, DC yeah, on it? No, no, no. Uh, but it is 16. Right. Okay. One passes, one fails. Yeah, but, oh, so, so we'll say like boy in the middle pass. Yeah, one marksman and one footman still have Sweet. Yeah. Holy shit. 
Well, Warcast cast is so yeah, good. It's up. really good, isn't it? It's right. so good. And then at the bottom of the initiative, the Storm Chaser itself, Araya will try to oh, keep the ship on course, okay. and okay. Did it does. Oh. And then Penny and Lancian will take their two shots at the Battle Skiff. Uh, Penny's shot hits, it connects. Yay, Penny! Um, they, she seems to be trying to target its um, helm as well. Um, for that's 11. Ooh, that is 20 points of damage, wow. which is nice. enough to beat its threshold. So you see this kind of big ballista bolt as Penny kind of like cranks it around, and she kind of has to almost arc it a little bit, so she kind of waits for it to move up, and then and you see a huge ballista bolt slam into the, the wheel, nice. and the captain's desperately pulling it out so he can regain control, but the skiff slides its way around. So it hits the damage threshold, right? Yeah, it does. It does enough. Um, it oh, does wait. actually hit the mishap threshold as well. Yeah, that's what I was asking about. Uh, you've got the mishap table there, don't you? That's a yep. that's a ship injury. Was it a D twenty roll? Uh, yeah. That is a four. Ethereum overload. The engine erupts in a magical flame and energy. Until repaired, any creatures in the engine room take three D six fire damage at the start of their turn, and the engine takes five points of damage. So this actually, there is nobody in the engine room, so it affects everybody. It's only a small skiff. I just rolled three sixes on three yeah. sixes. Yeah. Yeah. So you rolled an 18 with well, the that was a hell of a shot. So you then. watch this shot. Not only did it like pierce the into the thing, the captain's like, ah, and he starts pulling it free. As he does, he looks down, and you see this gout of flame just oh, erupt oh, and cover oh, the nice. skiff. As he's like, ah! As he begins throttling around. What a shot. Jesus. And with man. that, we're going to take a break. Let's take a break. Man, I want to come back to this burning Burn ship. This is easy. P for MVP <laughs> is for Penny. Penny MVP. Penny. Getting a pay raise. MV Penny. Yep. Cool. We're going to take a break. I'm going to read some donations. Yeah. Uh, everyone else, go grab read. a bathroom break. We'll see you in a bit. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> I'm also going to try and log in on the High Rollers uh, one so I can do that. Although it's probably just log It's Yeah, it's logging me into mine. I should have known it would do that. Uh, do incognito. Yeah. I'm going to try and add um, Johan to the D&D Beyond overlay in a second. So nice. if you want to refresh in like uh, when I come back and sit down, it's probably already done. There you go. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Are you having trouble again? No, no, I'm just I'm having trouble getting and finding incognito window on uh, oh, on a know Mac. Where it is. Don't on not on a Mac I fucking don't. <laughs> this isn't my porn laptop. Uh, just just do the regular donations <laughs> and then Yeah. No, I've got I've got <laughs> Tom, don't distract me. I'm on the, ah! Right. Um, so thank you, first of all, Bits from Underworld Chris, Dave from North Wales, Luscatore, and then S. Michael 86 and Cooper Orc, that I'm assuming is on. Uh, Tom, I need a security code. <laughs> um, Mia Kitty, thank you so much. Won't be able to stay for the entire episode tonight, but looking forward to catching up on what I'll miss ASAP. Good luck finding the Prime sent you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Olorenve. Uh, what is that? Nice. Okay, thank you, mate. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get the high rollers uh, donations up as well because we've had some on high rollers. Are you right there? I almost fell. I almost fell. I almost fell. Um, all around, thank you for the donation, but no message. Um, uh, Lightning Wing Dragon. Ah, another wholesome high roller stream. Also, Katie, love the new glasses. I'm getting a new prescription ones myself. In other news, I've been listening to a new podcast. My dad wrote a porno. Dear God, the hilarity. Also, Wings, Kim? Um, I've heard of my dad wrote a porno. I've heard it was quite good. Um, uh, thank you very much to The Faceless Evil. Love from California. This is a hundo. The Faceless Evil, thank you so much. Love from California. Watching for a year now, obsessed. And I have the stone dice to prove it. Thank you for being a part of my lazy Sundays. Oh, and also my sisters who I hooked to your sister series. Tom is her absolute fave. Mind saying hi to Julie for her. When he comes back in, I will ask him to say hi. Um, but hi, Julie. Uh, Samwise2450. Another week, another episode of High Rollers. Who knows what will happen? Can we get a bet mark? There you go. One bet. There was a hundo. I read that one out. Nightjar, thank you much. Sweet, sweet Nightjar. Uh, well, 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 look who it is. So glad you're getting to play the D&Ds again, Ravsy Boy. Also, spoilers, Mark Kappa. What do you mean, spoilers? Uh, oh, well, that's that's not me. Uh, Bayfeather, thank you so much for the donation. Moose Tax, a uh, half hundo. Uh, thank you very much. Hi, just wanted to say TYTY. You guys have helped me through so much from military into music major. Well, congratulations, and I'm glad that we could help. Thank you so much. 
Um, and then Varys, thank you very much for the donation message as well. And then we had some donations over on the High Rollers uh, D&D as well. So consider the coconut. Uh, literally woke up at 4 a.m. in Australia to buy dice, lol. But here, have a small gift just because I never get to watch live. Don't kill each other. Thank you very much. Co consider the coconut. Uh, Pondering Drifter, a half hundo. Uh, hi gang, thanks for all the countless hours of storytelling over the past few years. Looking forward to all the twists and turns this wild story has in store. You are all the best. Uh, Shaking Banana, thank you very much. Dear High Rollers, I've been watching since Lightfall, but started, uh, started, but due to work uh, and drinking, I've never been able to watch live. It has been amazing to watch you all grow, so thank you for letting us be part of your stories. Yours sincerely, Harry. Well, thank you very much, Harry. Um, and then Shaking Banana, also known as saying, P.S. My name was never meant to be dirty. I was young and part of the Frightened Fruit Brigade with people like Startled Satsuma, Trembling Kiwi, Cowardly Coconut. Take from that what you will. Thank you all again. It has been my pleasure to watch. Well, thank you very much. Um, and then a bunch of subs up as well. I'm not going to read through all of those, but I just want to say a big thank you for those of you who donated over on the High Rollers Twitch as well. Uh, and then Raging Rhino comes in on the Yogscast. Chip battle, woo! Pirates of Eroes, this will be fun. Thanks again, HR. Shit no pirates. Battle. <laughs> Shit battle. <laughs> oh, Ace of Thorns, thank you very much. Many many thanks for your kind words and support, especially from Kim, who's been a tower of strength during her streams this week. I will be fine eventually. Oh, Ace, uh, Ace, yeah. Man. Good dude. Um, cool, cool, cool. Right, <laughs> this is one of those combats where I'm like, I've made this very complicated for myself. <laughs> Ship combat! Yeah, just wait for Ravs to come back. Yep, we'll get Ravs back. Uh, um, man, this is very cool. Yeah. How this is all working out in Penny's as, as a point, by the way, for Quill's future vision, and I said this to Tom, the future is always shifting and changing. It's all malleable. Time, it's all malleable. time is, uh, is elastic. <laughs> yeah. It construct. comes back. Wait, it's a construct. What? Time is a construct. Um, it's a river. Yeah, uh, so, so yes, yeah, so not, necessarily not everything in that vision will come true. Maybe all of it will come true. We don't Maybe Sentry will die. <laughs> maybe, maybe, could be. Maybe um, we'll all be dead and it's a ghost ship. <laughs> oh my God, it's a ghost ship. Maybe we're all Starbane agents. Maybe we're all Hadar agents. Maybe we're all Hadar and Starbane agents. Hadar. <laughs> Stardar. <laughs> wow. Um, I was doing that classic thing where I was at the bus stop waiting to come in today, and sometimes when I'm on my own, I will play talk out scenarios yourself. in my head. I talk to myself. Yeah. Uh, and I was playing out some cool callus uh, for future discussion. You're sitting at the bus stop. So you're sitting on the bus just... Mm -hmm. Not as callous, it was at the bus stop. Right. And I sometimes, it just helps me like figure out like... Oh hey, think. I'm super sexy Starbane, how that's are you? That's exactly I'm what going I to take doing. over the yes, world. That's I exactly. am Hadar, I am so hungry, I am hungry all the time. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Why won't you let me eat? But and the other Starbane. people at the bus stop are slowly, slowly shifting away from him. <laughs> Starbane's like, Hadar, you should really be on a diet. Kim, you take 96 points of deficit. <laughs> <laughs> Kim or Nova? Kim, Kim does. <laughs> What's this guy? He's used to rum chums. He's like, oh, I'll take a five hour break. Uh, <laughs> well, get Raps! It's fine. Get a drink. Uh, Fuck's sake, man. Sorry. Let him get the mic on first. I don't know what it's like on your this stream. Is high rollers time. Oh, sorry. Right. Sorry. Hey, wait until the mic comes sorry. back on, otherwise I'll be quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to want to sip on my drink anyway. Mm. Still fixing the extension. Beer, beer. Get beer, beer. Burb. Uh, maybe. maybe. If you're watching and you can't see Johan, Johan, sorry, on the extension, then Johan. refresh in about Johan. five minutes. Twenty minutes. We'll see if it works. Right. And hopefully he'll be on there. Well, we're back. Yeah. We're back. Yeah. Uh, we are going to crack on with this combat. So, sorry. what are you doing? The shadowy leather-bound <laughs> figure <laughs> will uh, Not in a good slide way. down the best. <laughs> oh, he's sliding <laughs> down. Yeah, he's sliding down what the best. Cool That's pretty cool. Uh, Nova currently has the slow spell up. Where is Nova? Uh, I'm Nova. right at the back. Right. You, did you move there? No, I was always there. That was there. always where no, you were. I was always lurking. She hid. Uh, he will use, say you went 5, 10, so that's what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Bonus action disengage. Here we go. Bastard. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can't take an action because that's his action to dash. So it was okay, move, he's... bonus action, dash. Really wanted to hit. But he's, he's coming. <laughs> he's Rocking like, for he's Nova. looking for Nova. Uh, the guy ah, yes. And, and actually, as he's moving towards Nova, he's just like, ah, the air ganassi. Ah, oh, well, of course he knows you. God, I'm getting a real complex, guys. Lucius. <laughs> I am going to... You have a big robot on your face. Disengage. 
Okay, so that's your action. And go up to... So you basically help. go running. 5, 10, 15... Get them! <laughs> Get them! So that's 30 feet puts you here. Yeah, so that's my... Okay. Go. Uh, these wolf pack members probably are actually kind of back here as well. Okay. Um, that's your whole turn. Uh, yeah, Nova. Disengage. It is, yeah. No bone sections. <sighs> this shadowy figure with his weird knife. Oh, that is a nice thinking sound. Mm. Sure, that sounded great. That podcast. Um, after Nova, fantastic. it will be the skiff, and then so, it is Ayla and Quill. Just um, to quickly check, because I've got slow up and I'm concentrating on I can't cast another spell. You can. If it's I a concentration can. spell, the slow effect goes away. But so if you it's can cast not, if it's so not if a it's concentration, not concentration, you can cast, you can cast it. it. Yeah, you can absolutely cast it. Hey, Blight's not a concentration spell. No, nope. it's a one-off. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You're the best. <laughs> um, are the boys, the, the, the slow boys, are they 60 feet away from slow me? Slow boys. These... No, so, uh, yeah, 60 foot. Uh, let's find out. They are five. So you're basically, you're actually here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Mm. Range. This guy is in range, but he got out of the slow. Yeah, it's exactly. this guy and this guy who are currently They're slowed. 30 foot range of movement. Remember, if you move out of Assassinos, Assassino. you'll get a free. He's nowhere near me. He's not currently. If you move, if you move into his threat yeah. range and then out, he's he still gets a what? No, 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 no. <laughs> um. Can I move this way, diagonally towards me? So like that. Yeah. So away from me. Yes, I would say you can. Yep. Ten. Ten. Wait, hold on a minute. Does that put me within sixty to get these guys? Should do. Fine. Yeah, it should do. Yeah, you've moved ten feet forwards. Then can I uh, cast create bonfire? It's five foot anyway, isn't it? So it's not really gonna. It's only gonna touch. It's only gonna touch one. Yeah. Do you know what? Forget that. Can you keep moving me back? Back towards Luchance. Oh, you want to? So you go up. Still, 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 yeah. So you go. So you go five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and then twenty-five, yeah, 20 and then uh, two Eldritch blasts on. Yeah, the assassin. Let's do it. Let's okay. go for the assassin. Sure. Uh, so, oh, what is my life? Where is it? Dun, there it is. Dun, dun. Um, Pain and uh, one is an 18, and the other one is a uh, 23. Uh, the 18 and 23 will both hit. And then I will potentially use my uncanny dodge on one of these if it does a lot of damage. Four and a five. No, I'll take it. <laughs> um, Eight. I mean, uh, how, uh, do I know you? I, uh, you don't know me. Do you know me? I don't know you. As you're running up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> he, doesn't say, he doesn't say anything back. Um, all right. After Nova, it is the skiffs go. Uh, they take a bunch of damage. Yeah. <laughs> they They're on fire. Not, not too much, but you can see like this fire is beginning to spread and it's kind of like erratically flying. Um, the captain will try and repair it, so he's not going to focus on flying this turn. He fails. Ooh, um, but perfect. the two ballista are still going to take their shot at um, the helm on the storm chaser. That is a 16. On one of them. I think that's is that a hit that on the hit. Storm Chaser? Uh, storm Chaser. So which part? Helm. On the helm. Uh, 16, yeah. Exactly. Exact hit. Their ballistas pretty much look to be the same as yours. Um, just a little bit smaller. Uh, so that's going to be 15 points of damage to the helm, which I believe is enough. It passes the damage threshold, but not enough to cause a mishap. Huh. So it's just 15 HP off the helm. Mm -hmm. So poosh, one of these bolts smashes through, nearly cutting through Nova, but smashing into the helm wheel. And the right's like, ah, fuck. Like kicking this <laughs> like big spear, uh, sticking through it. Uh, that's the skips go. Ayla. Oh, okay. Hello. So I'm gonna hit the. Can I hit this robot thing? Yep. Can I intentionally aim to hit the pylons that are on? So you want to try and aim for these pylons? I want to aim for the pylons. You that can. Are on back. Yeah. Um, you'll basically need to get it. Like if you get a crit, you'll hit the pylons. Because it's like it's moving us away. Because this, um, this is a problem with DD. There's no good way to do like cold shots for weaknesses. Sure. But the way that's. Yeah. Nope. Um, probably won't even hit with this, to be honest. It does look pretty. 12 armored. was the highest I got. Hit. Nope. nope. Both armors are just shit. like <laughs> off its metal plating as these attacks smash. Um, by trying to aim for the pylons, it kind of manages to get its you know weapons and things in the way, uh, deflecting you. Quill. 
before my turn starts and while it's still Ada's turn, can I do an off turn like shout at Ayla? I mean, sure. Could I try and tell her to move out of the way? Actually, she'll take a hit from that. That so should that. have been. I'll take a hit really, from yeah. if I move out of his go. Then yeah. I'll yeah. take a hit. All right. Uh, so I, I can't. So I think I'm actually just back hit one here. I think I'm in between squares there. Uh, I want to do a thunder wave. It's not lightning damage. Uh, it's a 15 foot wide cube, so I actually don't think that hits. 15 foot wide Halo cube, you could do that, yeah. You could do it in a different, yeah. yeah. No, you can hit I want to thunder wave, push him 10 if, feet away from if me. If it works, yeah. Well, important, isn't it? Okay. Uh, so it's a con 13 save, he rolls a six. Okay, gets a nine. Perfect, he moves 10 feet away. Yeah, And takes a load of damage. Yeah, he takes, uh, he'll take half damage because he's resistance to thunder. And it just hovers over the side of the ship. Son of a it bitch! Can't fly! <laughs> you heard that! No, it's still flying. I thought it was like a one-time booster jet thing. No. Nope. It's little rockets it keep fly. it aloft. Bah, well, I still do damage to it. <laughs> and it just kind of like floats off the side. Um, it does still take two d8 damage. Yep, halved because it's resistant. You should have heard Tom out there. It's like I'm gonna I'm knock it over there. I've got the best plan. I didn't think its boosters were still going. Yeah. It takes seven That's damage. A fly speed. Seven. Is that halved already? No. So it takes three. Ugh, that was awful. So you kind of like, and you see it just kind of rumbles, vibrates a bit, and it gets pushed off. But as it goes to fall, you just hear these like little jets on its feet, like. Would it? Target engaged, and its little rotary gun begins spinning up. <laughs> Would it fall though, partially Jesus. until its turn when it can catch itself? Just as a... It's got a fly speed, so no, it just kind of, it's always on. Fly speed is just, it engages, I would say. It's just good. A flying creature can't fall, I don't think. Um, uh, uh, so, Quill, that's your go entirely? Yes? Yeah, I'll stay there. Uh, sentry. Nope, sorry, foot soldiers first. Uh, so this boy, who got out the slow. Oh, Johan. It's coming after Johan, this guy. Why would you go up front? Oh, he is still speed. Slowed, I stood in front so. of you, dude. Yeah, Half, because no, he's no longer really in Oh, it's not, just like, yeah. range. Really so, up. five, ten, if it gets to there. <laughs> it's like, come back here. <laughs> it's a tiny bit. Uh, but one of them comes towards Johan, it's just like, ah, uh, yes, the sorcerer. You're the one Zarkira sent us to finish this off. This is really oh, bad. No. Yeah, uh, he's no, not looking good. Oh. Ten is the highest to hit. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. You kind of no, got to the side. Oh, I was thing. Oh, yeah, no, but, I mean... Mm. Um, as they swipe at you with the tanks, When, when the tanks sentry. stand in front of them to protect him and he goes, la, 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 la. <laughs> I had a big move <laughs> planned, and then I entered a oh, slot that was... I forgot yeah. about it. So sentry comes Johan. stomping up next Dang. to Johan. Johan. Yep. I'm just gonna raise up my new weapon and match these rows. It's kind of Ready to go. Know, beautiful oh, nice. rapier. Oh, nice. Swipe twice at him. Okay, perfect. Make your attacks. First one, 19 plus 8. So that's coming in. And then the second one, 12 plus 8, 20. Both hit. Nice! And I'm going to Divine Smite one of them as well. Okay. So it's a new weapon. New weapon. Yeah. Oh. So, so Rose. Rose. regular damage, 1d8 plus 5. That's gone over That's a d10 the as well. D10, never mind. Blah, blah. <laughs> that's an 8. All right, so that's the normal damage. damage. Yep. Okay. And then second level Divine Smite. So that'll be 2 extra d8 on that one, because he's not undead. Mm-hmm. So that'll be... So first level Divine Smite, yeah. Uh, second level. Oh, so that's 3d8 then, because it's an extra d8 okay. if it's at second level. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Is that all of it, including the base damage, or yeah. is that just the Divine Smite? That's just the Divine Smite, so that's 3d8. Another, oh. another 17? Yeah. Damn! Uh, I've got to work this out now. Okay, yeah, that nearly finishes him off. You kind of slice at him twice. Um, did you roll the damage to the second attack yet? No. No. <laughs> was that, one that? that was one attack. So that was one attack. That was divine, a 3d8 was... divine smite. Jeez. So the second one is a d8. Still going. So that's five, that's another nine. Another nine. Uh, oh wait, that's no, ten. Ten? You can you kill him. Twenty-seven, yeah. You just, yeah, you kind of go up, One blow, you just knock the weapon out of his hand, a deep gash through his armor, like, ah, and then Her Majesty's Road, like this beautiful blade. Did you have, you didn't have the D4 for those damages as well, remember, it's D4 in every attack oh with Her Majesty's Rose so as well. Jesus! Oh. Even more damage. So, it would have been another three, and then another so seven 30, damage. 34. <laughs> so the, oh. the, the thorns <laughs> of the sword kind of come out, and you just tear into his flesh as the, the blade 
And she uh, dies in the him process. Off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off the boat, bye! <laughs> Yeah, so the Her Majesty's Rose just comes in and just cuts this guy to ribbons, Jesus. basically, as you strike wow. at him. Okay, that's not um, a lot. He really didn't do a lot. <laughs> um, okay, after Sentry, Johan. Now it's your hands go. Oh, um, your other boy can make a wisdom saving throw. I will make it. 16. No. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to nod that Sentry. Like, I love Thank you. And then I'm going to, like, um, have a little bit of rain drop from my hand as my palm and, like, Look over the ship and raise up, and gonna have water raise up from the side of the ship, and I'm gonna cast tidal wave in a line hitting the three of them, hitting these three. Yeah. Oh, nice. What's the what's read it out for us? Uh, you can't drop a wave of water that crashes down in an area within range. Um, it's thirty feet long, uh, up to ten feet wide, and up to ten feet tall. So ten. And then it's 30 feet long, you said? Yeah. 10, 15, 20, 20 feet. Yeah, you can hit all three of those guys. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so I'm going to cast that at third uh, level. Which... What kind of saving throw? Uh, it is a dexterity saving throw. Minus right. two for one of Anyone. the marksmen and one of the footmen. All right, well, the footman fails. Mm -hmm. um, the marksman who is slowed gets minus two. That he fails, that's a natural one. The marksman who doesn't have anything is a 16. 16, what's my... DC. So he so does succeed on that. He does succeed. So okay. the guy in the middle succeeds, but the other two are going to take full damage. Okay. And then damage? It's a 48 bludgeoning and knocked prone on a fail, and on a success, it takes half as much damage and isn't knocked prone. Okay, so these guys 48. are nice. cool. 48 damage. So you watch as this kind of like swirling kind of column of water raises up from like Impossible, deep the ocean yeah. down. And then it just comes crashing Don't down onto the ship and slaps yeah. these guys. Eight. Uh, so roll two and it's at eight damage. Uh, Those are d6, not d8s. Oh, my bad. They Did you are, say d8? They're, they're d, it's damage. d8s and I'm rolling d6s. Hold on. Uh, and some d8s. Thank you. We've all been We've got another one there if you need one. Okay, yeah. We'll roll these. I'm going to empower this. Okay. So you're going to spend a sorcery so. point so you can yeah. re-roll. Um, yeah. Basically all the time. Crikey. Okay, so that's, that's a couple a of ones. Eight, so a, a six, six, eight, and then two ones. I'm guessing you're gonna re-roll those. Ones. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh bother! <laughs> All these dice are going oh, everywhere. Bother. He's just like I've never seen a man just. <laughs> and a five. Okay. So. So eight, so. six, five, one. That's so. a four. Oh, is that four? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. So 10, 18, 23 points of damage. Oh, nice. Mister twenty-three over here. Done twenty-three with my shocking grasp as well. Mm. Thank oh, you. Yeah. So this foot soldier. Is not only is he like knocked prone, <laughs> he's nearly swept off the side, mm -hmm. and the force you can see it buckles most of his armor on him. He's you just hear this like, ah, like <laughs> barely hanging on. He's like, ah, like crawling to try and stand up. And with uh, Thames Source Magic, I'm just gonna like fly back a little bit, like, oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, so you kind of like watch Johan yeah. kind of lift up in the air and whoosh, yeah. push himself back. Okay, yeah. Um, and what with my movement as well, I think I'll also just look back up next to Quill. <laughs> hey. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then that's that's my turn. Man, Storm Sorcerer is cool. Storm Sorcerer is pretty cool. Uh, okay. Oh, perfect. You backed up next to Quill. Yeah, that. you're just yeah. in line. Yeah. For the attack that he's about to do on Quill. You watch as the Ooh. giant golem, uh, its force gatling, uh, spins up. Shield. <laughs> Can I shield it? Maybe. Let's find out. Uh, it does this twice. I'm guessing this is only hitting me if it's... 20 to yeah. hit you. And shield gives plus 5, right? It does. How many times is it attacking? Um, do I don't care. Twice. I don't care. I'm shielding twice. it. Okay. What's your AC? Uh, 21. So the first attack misses. Uh, Johan, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I'm good at them. Not. But my shield's big. Uh, it's Johan time. It protects you! <laughs> oh, oh, that's will a be nine. The, uh, 9 plus 2, so 11. 11 points. Oh, this is d8s. Uh, so as these, you can see these like bolts of purple energy are spinning out of its cannon. Um, Quill, you kind of deflect it and it bounces around you, but the spray is so much that little gaps between your kind of bubble around you, it's striking Johan as it goes. Sure. Uh, who doesn't manage to like quite duck out of the way. That's 11. The ones that should have hit me. 19 points of force damage. Oh my god. I'm on one. You're on one. He's on yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, and then you watch as the golem does seem to take some damage when it does this, like its oh, okay. systems kind of like overload a little bit. Uh, that's another six points of damage to it. And then it does it again. Cool. Oh, Quill. That is a... Uh, that's a 20 again, like bang on. So oh, it hit. ignores you. Johan, make a deck saving throw. This is back. Uh, oh, oh, he's failed again. Four. He's out. <laughs> I'm done. Johan. Yeah. 
12 You've points of force damage. You've just moved into the line of danger yeah. literally every, every turn. single, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. I'm making some bad moves. So you there. kind of, like, try and dodge to the side. Yeah. You leap to one side of Quill. You get sprayed with these bullets. You think, ah, mm -hmm. oh, leap to the other side, not expecting it's just barrage of yeah. fire to continue yeah. as it guns yeah. you down. I'm doing it a minute. You're in the perfect place. You're next to the healer. That's, That's me. <laughs> That's What's a healer? healer? What's that? We don't have one. <laughs> well, I heal people who see me in their vision. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, exclusively. Wait. What about people who forgot to tell you that they saw Univision? Oh yeah. No. Wait. Why is my? Why do I not have that prepared? I'm so confused. Yeah. Um, the one who is not slowed is going to take two shots at Ayla. Uh, these are the two marksmen. Um, he fires twice at Ayla. That's a twenty-one to hit and a natural twenty on the other one. Oh, shit. Oh god. Uh, these bullets seem to be very strong. Where's my D12 roll? D12? There what is. kind of damage is that? This is piercing damage, so you will half fix your raging. Um, so the first hit was a 21, that hit you as well, I'm mm -hmm. guessing. So the first hit was 7, half to 3. And then the next one is 12 plus uh, that's 9, 21, 25, half to 12. Um, so, from this force rifle. Um, and then the one at the top of the stairs who's still currently slow takes one shot at sentry for a 23. Uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, for a seven points of piercing damage. Okay, okay. Wisdom. There's bam, bam. And then he makes a wisdom. Same throw against the slow. Thank you, Kim. Uh, that is a 17. Yep, he's out. So he's finally out of the slow. Marksman out, so it's just one foot soldier. Just foot soldier. Um, I don't want to be a Quill or a Tom. But does Johan have to make an Johan injury Johan does check? have to make an injury check. Uh-oh. So this uh, is a constitution club. saving oh, throw. So man, oh. you took 16, you put 12 points of damage, so the DC's yeah. 10. Yeah. Okay, DC 10, con save. Uh, what con. is your con plus? Plus three. Okay. No, con That's... save. Con, oh, con, con save. save. Oh, good. Uh, plus saving six. Throw. Oh, 14. 14. You're okay. Thank you saw that. Yeah, it's a plus six. I was looking at proficiency and not my, my nope. saving force. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> Oof. So you watch as like the bullet, like, you know, you get sprayed down, not down, but you don't seem to see any lasting injuries on him mm -hmm. just yet. But excellent quilling. Excellent Tom quilling. Hey, Tom, what? can I have an inspiration? From me? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, that shit. Araya positions ship. the Storm Chaser. The giant dragon flying towards us. Araya manages, no <laughs> yeah. manages to position the Storm Chaser, now behind the tiny skiff as it's spewing flames, the captain really unable to control it. Araya brings it in, kind of Darth Vader focusing on Luke Skywalker as the two ballista hone in. Oh, nice. They have advantage Sweet. on the shot now. Ooh. Oh, wow. So, which is going to cause both of them to hit. Uh, this is nice. 3d10 from each wow. shot. Wow. So Penny does 11, like this meta shit 17 fighting. points of damage. Nice. Not enough not to enough. cause a mishap though. So. Uh, Lancian deals 19 points oh, of damage. Um, but it's enough that the helm just shatters. Um, and you begin to see the ship just begins careening um, out of control and it's pointing down into the ocean. Holy shit. It's, they're going to have to fix that Bye. if they want to pull it up. And yeah, it just they begin sailing away. Man, it's nice to see Lancian. All up no, in it's that. just it was Getting one up off. in that shit. Yeah. Uh, we jump back up to the top. Let assassin. Assassin. Here he comes. Assassin. Oh no. Oh, no. oh assassin. No. Oh, actually, the uh, wolf pack also would have gotten to go, but they haven't gone. At well, all. they're not really. They've been firing longbows, but like weapons don't really do a lot against a skiff. Um, but now that the skiff is kind of being pulled away, they probably would try and. Well, they'd look at Lucius. I think that they're going to hold their action until they're, they're given an order. They're like, Captain, what do we do? Was, um, <laughs> did you say to Lansing to give orders? No. no. He sold him to it. Never mind. Literally nothing. Uh, well, also, like, these guys aren't, <clears throat> they're not meant Fighters. to deal with borders. They're, like, meant to really, like, do, like, longbow shots and stuff. Um, so, but if, if the captain orders them to engage, they'll engage. That's their job. Uh, so the assassin. You didn't attack recklessly last turn, did you? Nope. Are the ballistas out, you say? They need to be reloaded. No, no, your ballistas are fine. Ballistas at the front. Yeah. But the, the other skiff is now... What kind of turn angle does this ballista have? It can't turn back on the ship. No. Yeah, they can fire at other ships, but they can't fire inwards. Yeah. That'd be silly, crazy. 
Uh, wreck your own crazy. ship. Crazy. You'd wreck your own ship. Yeah, you would. Squishy humans in front of the bolt. It's more something. the mech that's floating He is going to him. move, yeah. take awesome. cover behind the main mast, and attempt to hide. Who's Red Boy? Oh. It's the mast. That's that look out up in the crow's, oh. ne- crow's nest, basically. Uh, that is going to be. Um, which I believe is above everybody's passive perception. Um, yep. So is it above Quill? Yeah, it's above mine. Damn it. He's doing something beyond my reach. <laughs> Very rare. Oh, gee. And then he will lean out and with a hand crossbow shoot Quill. Oh, cute. I've still got my shield. You have. Does it help you against a 25 to hit? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. No. Uh, that's fine. Uh, a bolt streaks from nowhere as a sneak attack and deals. Not a lot of damage. That's a lot of ones, Mark. <laughs> Six. No. 13 points of damage. Cool. With a 46 sneak attack. Fair enough. Uh, you kind of clipped in the back as you see him kind of leaning out from behind the mast, having hidden his uh, direct target. Yeah. It scares me when I can't see something. Yeah. I don't it's like pretty that. pretty good at it. <laughs> Um, after him, it goes to Lucius. Lucius. I'm going to cast Acid Splash on the mech. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to use a sorcery point to twin it. Mm-hmm. So it goes to the next closest boy. Which I think the is the closest assassin. would be this guy's about here. The assassin. 5, 10, 15, assassin. 20. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Mm-hmm. It's this guy, the downed guy. Okay. So you have advantage because he's prone. Uh, well, it's a uh, <coughs> deck saving throw, so he's is on it? the foot. Yeah. Oh. Uh, is that the one slow guy here? Prone, isn't he? So minus two on decks on mm-hmm. that as well. Oh, they both fail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they both fail. There's, there's no denying it. One. Wow. Oh, is this acid splash? Yeah. Acid splash. You don't need to spend sorcery points to twin. Yeah, I thought this was Melf's acid arrow. Acid arrow. No, I'm doing acid splash. Yeah, it's a cantrip. Yeah, you spend one sorcery point. It's two at level one. But Acid Splash already hits to if we're within five, feet, within of five feet of each other. Okay, I see. So they just take one point of Acid Damage, is that it? And it's only 1d6? Aren't your, you know, it should be 2d6, your fifth level now. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's Six. Right Six points of damage, okay. Dicomancy! This cantrip. Yep. I've told you this a million times. <laughs> <laughs> However, it is enough that this one foot soldier on the ground who has been knocked over, his armor has been crumpled on him, is then coated in acid. Yeah. You just hear, ah, ah, he rolls crying. off the side of the ship. <laughs> He's still alive. slow boy as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he falls in slow motion. He too. falls in slow motion, he is in pain in slow motion, uh, and then he dies. Good. In slow motion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, after oh, Lucius, geez. Nova. Um, okay. Uh, well, I no longer have a slow spell. That's fine though. Uh, I'm going to go for ye old faithful Eldritch Blast on uh, the remaining this guy up here. This guy, the marksman. Yeah, the marksman. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the marksman so far haven't actually really been damaged. Uh, oh, one shit. is a 15, one is a 19 plus eight on both. So 23, yeah, 27. Can smash him. Yeah, that's a reckon. Are you targeting one individually or both uh, on this guy? Just both on that guy. Yep, sure. Six, seven, eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. Uh, the first time he's kind of struck in the shoulder, he's like, ah, ah, looking, kind of trying to seize up the situation. The assassin and the mech are still alive, so he's not quite lost his, uh, he thinks that there's still a chance. Um, after Nova, we go to, the skiff is fucked off. So Ayla. I think that, that mech isn't, oh, okay. He's floating. I think he's still in weapon range. If you go right to the edge, yes. Mm-hmm. That sounds like a trap. I'm gonna go to this dude. Okay, and so smack you him. march up on there. And he's also he's holding a rifle, right? So he's right. like. He can't do anything if he's yeah. He can, he's just a well, disadvantage. Well, he can, but yeah. he's at disadvantage. Uh, so, I don't know. First one is a 12, which probably. That will not hit. hit. Uh, nope. Second one is a 23. Hits. Eleven points of damage with the hammer. Can you make a deck save? Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I don't need to. 
the lightning hits him, and as it arcs out, it curves up and goes into the cr the ah. spines. Um, this Fine. field seems to just be absorbing lightning energy around uh, it. Ah, rat. Ah, oh, dang. Yeah, it just, oh. as you go to strike it, it's like... <laughs> so that's, for that's that what we need. Level <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, that's where that's it went. That's the two poles mm, that, that we're holding on to. Oh, wait. <laughs> the entire lightning spell just went into that. Yep. Oh, damn, so I didn't even hit those guys. Ah, oh, okay, oh. cool. Nope, sadly not. That's why they haven't been injured yet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> after Ayla, it is Quill. <laughs> Uh, can oh, I, yeah. when I move, can I move around the back of this guy here? Sure, you move. I'm still in his You're range. up next after the, nice, uh, nice, nice. actually they're dead, so you are up next. Okay. They're both dead. Um, so I took 13 damage. Uh, I have concentration. How much do I need to roll for that? DC 10, because it's half the damage. Sure. Or 10 higher, whatever's higher. 12. Okay. Uh, so I've still got my, uh, Beacon of Hope. Beacon of Hope. Um, what does I will do, do Beacon, Beacon of Hope down. gives full healing. Hey, Johan. I'm going to do a Cure Wounds, 48 plus 4, you get all of it, baby! 16, Holy 32, crap. 36 hit points. Uh, yeah, 32, 36 uh, HP. Uh, so you just do, type in yeah. the uh, type in thing the and, then, there yeah, and then heal. Add. Oh, that's a big heal. Type, just type oh. it in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Type the, the number. That's Oops. noise So you are now conscious. That's your action. Uh, can I use my wand of magic missile as well? Push, push, push. It, push. It, it should be an action to use. That's 27. <laughs> there we go. Oh, apply. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Bam. I, I did it wrong. I'm done. Oh, thank yeah. you. Sentry. That was a good can heal, buddy. Big heal. Big heal. Misty step onto the boy. Oh my oh. god. Give him two slashes and then jump off as an action. 20. Fuck yeah, you can. Yeah! Oh my gosh! Right, there's a couple of things you're going to have to do here, though. Right. Because you are going to have to try and keep your balance. Yeah. So make the two attacks, okay, and then okay. we'll have you make an acrobatics check to see uh -oh. um, if you can basically keep balance before you fall off. Cool beans. Um, so, oh, no. two attacks. This is how she uh, f uh, f uh, Seven plus eight. 15. 15 for the first one. Just not enough. You try and drive the blade down in, but its armor kind of like deflects the blade. Second attack. Can I add a D? No, I can't add the D dwarf to that one. Can I for my uh, uh, driven to purpose? You tell me. What's it say? As a reaction before we know the outcome, you can add one D4 to a single ability check, saving for or attack roll you make. There you go. It's an attack before roll. Before you know the okay. result. Oh, before, before you know, know the result. result. I, you, you should have used it, but yeah. yeah. We know that. Yes, you can use it. You yeah. sure? Yeah. Okay. I don't mind. So, but for next time. Learning. Yeah. So that's a five. Uh, that's a D8. Oh my god, why am I picking up the wrong dice today? That's a one. Do you know what? That's just what you needed. It was 16. one point off. Yeah. 16. 16. You just drives through. Feeling that need to protect that purpose you've been created. You jam Her Majesty's Rose down. That's the first attack. Second one, 13 plus 8. Oh, that's going to hit. Both need hit. Need to protect. Nice. She so attacked. then uh, D8 plus 4. Four for the first Most one. I want to add Divine Smite to this plus one. Plus five, again. don't forget, because it's um, right in the neck. So that's D4. <laughs> so D8 plus five D8 for Her Majesty's five. Road. So that's so it's ten. ten. And then Divine and then Smite. Divine Smite. Eight. Eight. This is Team Storm. Team and Storm over here. Yeah. So seven. So seven. Eleven. Uh, so it'd be seven. ten from that. Yeah. Seventeen. <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen. And then Nineteen. a D4. And then the D4 for the, for the yep yeah, for the Thorns. Two for that one. So twenty-one. Twenty-one for the first one. The what, sir? If I was to attempt. And then the second, second one is just regular the D8 plus 5, so that's 7, yeah. add the D4. I was thinking that as well. 8. 8 more points. I can do it too. Damn. Mm. Nice. Do How I much damage? Um, a lot in total, points. about 30 something. Alright. Uh, Divine Smite. It's going to add a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, the golem is. You can see like sparks coming out of it. It's kind of stuttering around. Now make an acrobatics check. Oh, Ooh. God. Eight plus nothing. That's a whole lot of falling. Sentry falling. falling uh -oh. through the air. That's really good. You kind of stumble and you strike the final blow, but the golem lurches to the side in reaction, and you are just thrown off. Um, you gave a further fall, right? She doesn't have. Make it. a dexterity yep. saving throw for me. What? Dexterity. You know this would be oh, good. Oh She does have a further fall token. Does she? If it's not under inventory, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. I also, no, I realised that the acrobatics check would have been for that anyway. I was going to see if you could grab the robot, but that's really what the acrobatics check is. So, um, so yeah, Sentry is falling. Do you have okay. a Featherfall token on you? Uh, I'm pretty sure I gave you. No, I think we tried sure I No, because I had three. I, used, I yeah. used one, I gave you one, and then I used the other one. So you should have one. I have one, one in my inventory. Yeah. Oh, you have one. Okay. So just mark it off. So as you begin falling, 
sentries form. Oh yeah, it was because she was unconscious. But that's last now time gone. That it so delete that off. You're just falling slowly. Peace. Twenty about about sixty <laughs> feet around. This keeps just happening to you. I'm gonna stop. Can you, can you stop? Can you stop? I mean, I like it was rad stuff. as hell. Uh, it was pretty cool. That was sentries go. After sentries. We got no more Johan. waterfalls, by the way, because we couldn't buy any at Imixan. Nope. Johan, you're alive but on the floor. Yeah. It's half your movement to stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I'm standing. <laughs> You're still standing. I'm still standing. I'm going to try something risky. Sure. Uh, yeah. Yes, join the I risk club. Risk club. <laughs> okay, so 5, 10, 15, action dash. Yep. Duh, 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 and I'm going to try and jump to sentry. Okay. You mean you just jump She's off? I'm yeah. going to try jump to sentry and grab on. Right. But she's got... As you jump past, you are technically leaving the golem threatened area. It's going to get a swipe at you. That's okie dokie. But she's safe. She's, she's falling very slowly. Yeah. Yeah. 20, she's, 23 she's, to hit you. She's fine. It's done now, guys. I'm she's doing it. 23, that will hit. <laughs> or hit. I just like taking risks. <laughs> fine. That's going to be 30. <laughs> she's fine, though. <laughs> Not He's that I know. Wee. Not that I know. No, oh, yeah, actually. Yeah. Yeah. He wouldn't know. He doesn't know. 22 yeah. points of damage. <laughs> As the golem smashes oh you as you fly God. down, it's like but he's you trying to die. You crumple, <laughs> you fly down, and yeah, like Sentry's falling fairly slowly. It's not hard to just grab onto her. And I'm assuming Sentry, if you see Johan, you grab onto him yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So the combined weight, the Featherfall token's designed for one creature, you begin falling faster. <laughs> But not fast enough to potentially be lethal, but it mm -hmm. is faster than the 60 foot descent rate. <laughs> I'm kind of now two at, creatures, I'm one token. Kind of look at, <laughs> kind of like at Sentry like, oh, you were falling really slowly. <laughs> yeah, I had a Featherfall token. Um, and now I'm falling a little bit faster. Don't worry, I've, I've got this. And then okay. that's the end of it. Clearly you do. <laughs> Clearly you do it's got like this, he's but. trying oh, to die. Okay, so I Man, yeah. my vision was very wrong. But I'm really trying to die. You are actually trying to die. Like, you can forget about that vision the, if you yeah. dies. The <laughs> golem uh, flies overhead and lands oh. behind Nova and Lucius. Oh, for oh, shit. I just saw Sentry fall. <laughs> One punch each. Punch, punch. Oh, punch. Nova, oh, that's 13 plus 7, 20. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Lucius, 18 plus 7, 25. Mm-hmm. Nova, you are taking 4, 8. <laughs> oh, you made the face. 21 points of damage. Oof. Do you have any resistance to force or bludgeoning damage? Nah. Okay. Lucius, do you have any resistance to force or bludgeoning damage? Force or bludgeoning damage? No. Okay. I'll just roll it all together then. Um, I'm a scientist. Nine, I'm resistant to science. 19. 20 points of damage. To me? <laughs> it slams into both of you, and it, you can see it's crackling and acting erratically, um, just lashing out <laughs> at creatures it can see. Under 10. Um, after Indeed. the pylon golem's oh, term. The two marksmen. <clears throat> this guy facing Ayla is like, mm, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> slow boy who is still slow. slow no, boy. no. Um, oh, he saved this out. This one, it. yeah, they all saved out, and the one, the he, last he one, fell, fell over the yeah, side screaming. Oh, okay. This guy is gonna disengage and run. Fuck Five, you. Ten, Wimp. The thing you is, coward. Is, you can catch up to him because he's only a normal human, and he yep. doesn't know that. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Oh no, 30, he just goes 30, so he gets to there. This guy looks down at you and shoots twice. Um, and he's going to use his marksman's eye to give him a plus a bonus to damage if he hits. Um, does a 18 hit. Yes. That's the only one that does. Perfect. I don't know how much marksman's eye has. <laughs> Quite a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> when I roll like that, 24. Oh. Half to 12. Nice. God, you take so much damage. Barbarians, dude. That's what they do. You've got the most health and all of it's hard. Triple digits, baby. On the top of the round. Not all of it. Mr. Sneaky. Oh, oh. I forgot about him. Oh, I forgot he was even there. I forgot he existed. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. He, he fell down the stairs. Oh, no. <laughs> he fell down the stairs. <laughs> He's me, Mr. Sneaky. However, the two wolf pack will, like, they've been, like, trying to track it and kind of not sure what to do. He, they, a wolf pack does get a swipe as he moves on to pass. Yay! Eight, he misses. Uh. He's like, I'll get him, Captain! Yeah. <laughs> the guy just, like, <laughs> slides under it, Prince of Persia style, leaps up the stairs. Um, he's yeah, going he tried. to. Yeah, he tried. Um, out of the two of you, who seems to be. You look heavily wounded and bleeding, right? But you don't. No. Okay, you, he's going to try. That's the sneak attack. He goes for you. He makes uh, three attacks, actually. So two against you, one against Lucius. 
Oh, no. Uh, that is a 17 to hit Nova. Yeah. And a oh, an, a 10 to hit Nova. Yeah. So the first one hits and it will be a sneak attack. Because um, he has an ally within range. Lucius, that is only a 13. Yeah, it is. Does it really? Yeah. What? What? AC 12. Why are you not using Why? the barrier ring? Damn. <laughs> I could use it as a bonus action, yeah. Can you use it as a reaction? A Not as a reaction, no. use it on his turn. Oh. Uh, I want my barrier ring back. Lucius, you take six <laughs> points of damage. All right. <laughs> All right. Have you got like seven hit points? No, three. <laughs> Fucking hell. Nova, you are going to be taking, what's this? That's going to be 10, 14, 19 points of damage as he slides a blade under your ribs. Cool. Uh, <coughs> uh, and then he will look behind, see the fate of his marksman, and begin thinking about what he's going to do. Uh, after him, it goes to Lucius, in fact. Okay, I'm going to cast a fourth level Armor of Agathus. Perfect. 20 temp hit points. And anything that hits you takes 20 cold damage. Correct. And Dichromancy goes off. And Dichromancy. Against? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to hit the... Assassin. Okay. Please. For how much? Uh, that would be eight. eight, please. Okay. Yep. So the cold ice lance kind of shoots off your body into the golem as you conjure the armor of Agathis. Um, anything Bonus else? Bonus action, barrier ring. Plus two AC. <laughs> no. Thank you. <laughs> um, Sentry in your hand just. Wait. I've changed my plan like three times. <laughs> As you do, just two of the party, just jump off a boat, just in the middle of the air. It's, it's the high roller's way to just jump off it's stuff. No, it's the sentry way. <laughs> it's it's just sentry. Cool like, I can do the grab Acrobatics is what I'm good at, yeah. guys. <laughs> I don't think you've ever rolled a successful <laughs> acrobatics. Yeah. The jumping check. back on board would have been fine. It yeah. was the keeping your balance yeah. on the wobbly <laughs> robot is the problem. I just remembered when I jumped off the boat onto a platform and you tried to do the same and just went, <laughs> <laughs> It's like literally Sorry. stepped yeah. off. Nova. <laughs> Changed my mind like three different times. So um, hold action. I'm going to. I'm going to blight the assassin. Okay. What saving throw do I have to make? Constitution 16. Oh, well, that was cocked. Oh, that's a good job I re-rolled that because that is five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so eight d eight. Oh my lord. 8d8. That's interesting. Can I uncanny dodge this? Mm. The attack that hits them, I'd say I can't. Five, six. It's kind of like a, you can't really avoid it. It's not a dodgeable like, yeah. thing. It's not a deck save. Like, I'd say mm. it feels like a lightning yeah, bolt. I could, more. but I feel like, like a blight. Yeah. 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 That She's might literally be rules, got to touch. Rules oh, by no, raw, to I think it. he she can, can just... but I'm going to yeah. rule you he can't. Him. What does that actually say? So it says, halves the damage that you take from an attack that hits them. So the hit, to me, means an attack roll has to be made. Rather than a saving throw. Yeah. But yeah. then also I know that, like, use it... But then I guess evasion covers deck saving throws, so yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to say no. So am I allowed to throw? Yeah, yep. push it. Yeah, I was just checking to see if I could harm oh. it. That's a lot of dice. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of ones. Yeah. And a two. Mm, what you need is to be a sorcerer who can empower yes, your spells. Yes, empower spell would be great here. Uh, so if we say six sixes, well, three sixes. 18. 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So it's not great. 25 points of damage. Still, I that mean, is good. that's still it's better than a lot. And you see the assassin yeah. kind of like, ah, like as this kind of dark, black, necrotic lightning oh, coalesces please. over his body. He's like, ah. Screaming in pain. Can I also bonus action Hexblade cuss him? Sure. Nice. After Nova, we go to Ayla. Ayo. Hey. Can I La chase down this fuck? <laughs> Three, Can I? 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> Can I hit him off the side of the boat? So if you want to do that, it's called a shove attack. So as one of your attacks, you can attempt to shove him. It's a, a, it's a contested strength check, which you have advantage because you're raging Fuck against it, let's his do athletics. That, then. Okay. No, he's gonna hit. Is he gonna fall past us? And <laughs> no, he's slightly. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> uh, so. But I was corrected on this. It only replaces one of your attacks, not your whole attack action. Wow. Twenty-one. Oh. You fucking push this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh! See ya. Bye. You, <laughs> 
Um, you probably do watch as you push him, um, as he's like flailing through the air, he hits something on his armor and very similar to a Featherfall token, he's like, and his oh. descent slows down. Well, at um, least oh. you guys can do something okay. now. It's because you've got you in your hands. You're like, <laughs> he's like, well, Fighting as we're falling. <laughs> um, uh, you still have movement and attack, I think, left. You've got 15 foot of movement and you have one attack left, but I don't think anything you can reach anything. Get into position for the next one, I guess. Yeah, you could move like 5, 10, 15 to here. Can I? Can you? If, if I threw my hammer, could I throw it for these two in a line? <laughs> it is a line. Sorry. Technically, the these guys well, are on. So like, this is where I want to, because I push this guy out of the way. He's like this. Right. So you'd hit Lucius. <laughs> well, I don't want to do that then. You would hit Lucius. Can you, wow. can you hit and throw I can the hit turn? him, and it wouldn't do anything you to could, Lucius. You could stop it before it hits him. Well, I can hit him as the final of the line. Yes. You Technically, you'd hit this wolf pack then. Would I? Yeah. If I stepped to the side then? Oh, if you stepped to the side, you'd be fine, yeah. If you did it from there, you could hit that assassin. Fuck it. <laughs> Thor's hammer comes flying out your hands. Um, so the, he's the last in the line, so you make an attack against him, and if you hit him, you do an extra 46 lightning. Oh my god. So Because it's anybody in the line is the deck save, but if you hit, it's like a thrown attack against him. You can reckless as well. I got a 19, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, 19 fine. plus 8. So um, normal attack plus 46 lightning damage. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 damage on the hammer. Jesus. And oh then how much? 46. 46. 46. I think he's dead. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lightning damage on the hammer. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> the hammer spins in the air. He's so busy concentrating on Nova, and you can see he's doing all these cool acrobatic moves. The last thing he expects is a two-handed hammer to come flying through the air. He kind of turns his head at the last minute. Oh, oh no. Technically, I could uncanny dodge this. He's going to be a jam sandwich. Surely it'd be yeah, it's a reaction, right? So it was. you did 12 points on that last hit. Uh, yeah. 12 was lightning. Yeah, 12 was lightning, and, and I think you did 15, 15 for the other one. The yeah. So that's 27 total. If I half it, it goes down to 10, 13. So yeah, he does. So you watch as it's he hears cool. it coming. He's like, and he like lurches his body as this hammer just like, like scrapes against his jaw, oh. blasting his face with lightning. It flies past him, and then you just back into the hand and he's reeling like still and then with staggering. the other hand i just swear at him okay nice <laughs> quill so pinball off one guy knock him off the edge and yep. then throw the hand she basically yep. charges like shoulder barges one guy off the side moves to the side and then whoosh, throws the hammer that's pretty quill pretty cool um so lucius has the armor now yep so i'm gonna use a another level four uh, bonus Guiding action. Guiding bolt. No, it's a bonus action. Uh, what is it? Magic word? Healing word? Healing word. 4d4 plus 4. Maximized. 12, 16, 20 health healed to you. To Nova? Yeah. 20 HP Hi. back to Nova. Thank you. Uh, and then with That's my, a bonus action. With my action, uh, I'm going to use my um, the wand of magic missiles. Can I... So when I cast it, I want to point it at this dude until he dies. And then turn him <laughs> into the other <laughs> With missiles, yeah. I'm using six charges of magic missile. So what level is this cast at? Uh, well, they're all cast at level one. Uh, but no, 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 six no. Of them. no. It's every charge you spend adds a level to the spell. <gasps> Crikey. Uh, so, oh, so yeah, it's a level. Yeah, but you first, remember level, second, re level, read it first. It's seventh so. level. No, I'm not using this, well, the one's last charge. Okay, you that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you, Don't yeah. use the. Yeah. So it's seventh level. So it's three d four. Plus one, plus six, so it's it's ninety four plus nine damage. <laughs> oh but my God. all you can do it is individual numbers. Okay, uh, um, this is six. I you're gonna need to use all of them on him. Oh really? Has he got yeah. a load of health? He's got yeah, he's health. got he's not really been oh. damaged. So but for the instance of saving time, just roll them all and add nine. Okay, ninety four plus nine. I'm oh, stealing your dice. That's Sorry. Uh, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, Two, two, four, eight. Oh, one guy's dead. Nine. I forgot 12, one guy got pushed over. <laughs> 16, 20, 23, 
27 plus 9, 36. 36 points. Wow. wow. That's pretty good. Wow. He's still alive. But you watch Quill bring out this wand with his one hand and just these blasts of magic. And he's those... like, uh, 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 uh. Oh, but it's still oh, standing, oh, staggering, oh, reeling back, um, barely, barely oh, alive. Yes. So you're so Bam. Good. Thanks. And I didn't use the last charge either, so it doesn't nice. explode Sweet. in my hand. <laughs> Uh, century. That's what I was scared to uh, yes. Where are we in relation to the boat? I mean, you are like 80 feet down. We're below the boat. I'm just told on like, I can get you back up. Okay, so I just wait it out. Okay, do you want to ready an action? Um, I guess, yeah. You get ready to attack. Yeah, I'll get ready, yes. Yeah. So when, when we get back on so the boat. So you see a hostile, I'll, you'll attack I'll them. I'll attack them, Right, yeah. Johan, your turn. Uh, I am going to grab Bond to set, I'm already. You're already on sentry. <laughs> I'm just Present carrying him. Like I'm not house. falling, so if I let go, and I'm just got, there's going to be like a flash of lightning, uh -huh. uh, and I'm going to cast Dimension Door, nice. and I'm going to oh, right oh yes, Woo! Your yeah. Punch. Yeah. and then Sentry's action yeah. goes off. You can then. actually aim yeah. it. So yeah, I'll aim it so that I am behind away. Sentry. Yeah. Oh my God! That's so you cool. basically plant nice. Sentry. You feel yeah. your feet touch ground, and you uh -huh. see the golem in front of you. And then I'm going to nice. back up over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sure. fuck off. Cool. I'm going yeah. to attack the yeah. girl. And you get to make it yeah. twice because it's your attack yeah. action you're holding. Very nice. Let's go. Sweet. That was actually 14 really, really worth it. Mm -hmm. 16 plus 8. Both hit. Uh, no. nice. Divine smiting. Divine smiting, please. Okay. Well, what level? So, uh, level 2, my last one. So, 3d8 extra plus 3D8 your normal extra. d8. Cool. So, plus, plus a d4. d4. Oh, yeah, four. yeah. So, that's 4 plus oh 9 plus 4. Sentries, OP now. Plus 3. So, that's 12 for the first one. She's not even primey. And then 3d8. Four, eight, plus seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Don't twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Time. Yeah, jeez. Her Majesty's Rose. You see it just pop through the other end of the gyro as it it like stops spinning and just you hear screaming metal as the rose kind of pulls back out. It slumps to the side and stands. Uh, Sentry and Johanna just stood there basically. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I mean, oh my Titan. Uh, that's your go. <laughs> oh my uh, yes. Johan, you moved over there, you cast <laughs> yeah. the thing. Ah, yeah. uh, the golem is now dead. The one remaining marksman leaps off the side of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> 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 Further fall. Um, the, well, the, uh, the marksman is going to attempt to do the same. The assassin. Uh, the assassin. Nova and Lucius, you get attacks of opportunity against him. Yeah. These are just like slap. Do Can it, I? Do it. Shoulder barge with my armor of Agathis, oh! forcing it to trigger. If you, <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty good. If you punch with it, just no, it's when he... he's attacked. Yeah. Oh. But if I'm shoulder barging him with an armor, I would say you can do it as long as you let him make an attack against you. Like, like you okay. run onto his knife. You're like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> just stab me. That's shoulders. a very Lucius way of doing it. Though. Yeah. I mean, it would it would get it to work. Um, yeah, that's going to hit you. Is uh, it? He doesn't have sneak attack against you, so it's just seven points of damage. Okay. He takes 20 points back. He will half that for 10. He is barely standing. <laughs> Nova? Can I use. <clears throat> has to be a melee attack. You don't yeah, have so Warcaster. It can't, be chill, it can't be chill touch. You have Warcaster. Okay, have it. Uh, in which case, yeah, I'll. Um, if I attack him, can I. Try and do it so that I knock him out, so yeah. that we could potentially like sure. quiz yeah. him about nice. stuff. We have got a brig, right? You don't. No, we don't. You, didn't, buy, you didn't get a brig in the end. Uh, but you've got like a, a room. You could probably like a storage room or something. We've got an anchor. We can hang him off. That's a seventeen. Yep. Hit. Oh. Just hits. All right. As long as you do so two close. points of damage, which I think you can do. 10 Ooh, plus yeah. 5, oh. 15. He leaps, Lucius runs in front of him onto his knife, like the, like, uh, like kind of chips away some of the armor. The cold sprays in his face. He just manages to dodge the side and is about to like leap off backwards. You just come from behind Lucius, Dunk. boom, on the top of his head. <laughs> you have to grab him, like you and Lucius grab him before mm. he falls over and then drag him up onto the side of the ship. I like to think he um, just fall, I fall under his weight and he's just on me yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> And Lucius, like he's just like poof, over he's both of you. He's on me. <laughs> and with that, you're out of an issue. Is everyone okay? Ooh. Is everyone safe? The others. He's smelling Is everyone really on bad. the boat and not jumping off of it. Ayla, help these guys get this assassin off. <laughs> sure, I'll pick just up pick this him assassin. Up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, can I look over? You know, his his dagger is incredibly well made. I will take that. Okay. <laughs> 
Can I see where the skiff is now? It's in the sea, down. I think at this point, Orion has just been following it, and Penny and Lancian are like, chichum, chichum. <laughs> and it's just like, <laughs> it's smoking, and it's going to hit the ocean. Just a no mercy attack. Nice. nice. All right. No mercy. Um, I might need to lie down. <laughs> okay, okay. If everyone, anyone that's hurt, stand around me for okay. 10 minutes. I will lie around. How long does Beacon of Hope last? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, um, and also, I think Prayer of Healing might be a concentration as well. Uh, um, do we need to fix the helm? So it, it took 15 points of damage. So it, that the crew can do that, basically. As long as it's not damaged, they can just do that. You stocked up on supplies in Inexan, so they can just take time. As long as you're not attacked anytime soon. Um, I believe it's in the repair action. Yeah, uh, that was interesting, everyone. Yeah. Johan, he's still yeah. alive! Barely. <laughs> you see him at like the back of the ship, like holding on to like the the yeah, banister. Yeah, hold on to the banister. Just hold on, like... Johan's Johan. Just a little oh. thank you. Give, oh. him, give him twenty points. Forget what I said. Thank Don't you. have it prepared. I, I was crawling oh. halfway down the steps towards you. <laughs> In that case, I'll do an actual heal <laughs> no. on you. Uh, I guess I'm still within the minute of uh, beacon of hope. Sure. So I'll just do a level Why two. Not? A level two uh, cure wounds on you. So that's Eight, 16, 16, 20. 20 pitch. Thank you. I'm gonna like. Limp up towards the front of the boat mm-hmm. and just sort of like get out like my materials and just start to draw runes and stuff. Okay. You, yeah. I mean, one of the t- one of the components that you think you're going to need, you're going to need to build something into the front of the boat uh-huh. that has um, two yeah. like things that something can uh-huh. grip onto. Mm-hmm. Huh. Can we use like, the, metal the metal things uh, from like, the steed? I mean, you, uh-huh. you look at them. The only person who probably has the knowledge to do this is Nova. She's the only person mm-hmm. who has like any experience with Magitek. No, but this thing stole my lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Took it. Mm. Um, if we're in the business of harvesting lightning now, I feel like that's the thing. Okay, well, if Johan tells me more about his spell, maybe I can figure out what I need to take from this thing to, to, to put into the ship. And Both then, work together? Yeah. I, I, but yeah. Do, and would there be any more metal left over for my thing? Uh, so, if you're going to harvest this thing, first of all, if you want to use its pylons to build into your hands ritual. One of you two will make an arcana check with advantage. So whoever has the higher arcana. Plus seven. Like, plus plus zero. <laughs> so Nova. So you can tell that Johan, he's describing to you the feelings of this ritual, but it's not scientific and there's no way you could build something out of it. So you kind of have to work with him to figure out exactly how this is going to work. And you test a few things with the pylons. You have to kind of experiment with it, but make the mm-hmm. arcana check. Let's see how successful you can be. It's like a really bad art commission. He's saying like, it, it, it feels like they oh. really ripped and also very <laughs> sexy. Yeah. I imagine like under my breath, I'm just kind of like, uh-huh. I can't, I can't science that. Yeah. Uh, 25. 25. The two of you together, think that you can take the pylons from this golem, use them to build into a lattice work that you can funnel through the, the forecastle, um, and Johan, you can begin inscribing the runes around these pylons uh-huh. and then connect them to a central ritual circle. Okay. But you have to burn the runes into the deck. Like okay. you, With lightning, you're like scoring uh-huh. it in with your finger as you trace mm-hmm. it. Um, you also pretty much work that this golem, whatever it's, however it's been constructed, there's about 530 golds worth of Ethereum. Hello! So the actual golem itself has like Ethereum like plating and strips of metal built through its body. It's constructed from this valuable material. 530 gold. We should gold. find a way to transport this back to Gusthaven to our secret bunker. <clears throat> uh, uh, your home, not a secret, secret bunker oh. <laughs> underneath my home. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Should I use it for a project? Do what you want. What were the words you just said? I want to use some of it for a project. It, basically, the way okay. that project Ethereum is is way. just it has a Apparently. worth value of five hundred and thirty. But I can't use the actual Ethereum. It, it would be the same as buying other supplies. Just treat it as money. With us working with the, so you I don't need Ethereum for the project, but you could use the Ethereum as a replacement for some of the metal. But it would still have the same cost. So can I tick off another hundred golds worth of material? If you're gonna take five hundred, if you're gonna take hundred gold off the five hundred and thirty gold you just made, yes. Yes, I am. Okay. None of us know what you're spending no, money I, on. You're just saying. So, so you you're, have, you're taking. You spend a hundred. You spend a hundred of it already, automatically. Okay. Um, yep. You do that. You can begin working with that, uh, Johan. That is gonna take some time. You reckon that's probably gonna take at least a day 
day's work oh, for Johan okay, and over to you. Can I assist and make sure things are working by whenever they need a little bit of lightning? Just so, yeah, and I think I'd make it your height and yeah. like, yeah. 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 It's absolutely built like, it's being built around you to hold this yeah. together. Um, Johan, I'm guessing these were... You the, watch them do stuff to your ship, Lucy. These are the people you saw, right? The whole time. <laughs> yeah. Do you they, have to engrave into the wood? They look similar. <laughs> the Dunk. armor and... <laughs> Stop that, it. That, there are so many people <laughs> talking. What's going on? Well, he's he's complaining because you I don't you're... like that what you're doing to the ship. <laughs> he's like... Oh. Mm, like, you, like, Nova and Johan are just doing this, and Lucius has not given you permission, and it's his ship, <laughs> and it's funny. <laughs> Could you stop? <laughs> what are you doing? What's this? This is it's the ritual. Faithful. The aesthetic of the front is everything about a ship. Oh. You can't just stick to pylons. I just hold up the Gatling gun. Does anyone want to use this? A Gatling gun? Well, I had a... <laughs> it's not super large. It's probably about... Um, maybe like... Like a bucket size like barrel. Like a kind of like width of a bucket. But quite long. It could be modified as a ship weapon. But it won't be as effective as a mm. ballista. But could it be added in addition to the two ballista? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you could mount it on like a little tripod on one of the the cool. star the portal starboard. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, obviously, All it would weapons. have a limited firing arc if you do that. Okay. But yeah. Does it match your vision? Could I, could I see a Gatling gun in my vision? Your vision was very blurry. Like it could have. There was all sorts of. Uh, yeah. No, I did. I did. <laughs> I did see a crab-like horrible creature, and I guess oh up close this must have been God, what God, I God, saw. God, 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 the one in Miska. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, you want it on Century? <laughs> You could try. Sentry is literally getting every upgrade <laughs> on the planet right now. You should have a face gun. Can I, yeah, design it so it comes out from back. Oh, oh a Blastoise. <laughs> yeah. Like a Blastoise. Or like a, a gun dog. Like you, a gun dog! I will say, if you, the Gatling, the, the Force Gatling on this creature, this dog, you man? do not have the means to do it yeah. on the ship. Is this your Turns dog? out Somewhere you like Volcanos, a secret Guardian facility built for Guardians. Would probably have the tools to integrate it into nice. Sentry. It's pretty cool. Can I? Um, so this this assassin that mm -hmm. we have not got. Not, not, can we take his feather yeah. token and give it to Sentry? Yeah, I was going to say. Can no, I take there is no token. <gasps> it's it's a rune engraved on his armor. Um, oh. Can I take the rune off then? No, it's oh. engraved into the armor. It's like a. Can I take the armor off then? You take the armor off. Yeah, you take the armor off. The rune disappears. Mm. It's it's coded almost like to him specifically. Interesting. Um, you see on the inside so of the armor, fly, you know? his yeah. suit underneath the armor that he's wearing. This, or like the the leather armor he's got, has like these leather plates and things like that. When you if you strip him because it is like skin tight, he's basically naked. That he doesn't have like underpants or anything on under there. Oh. He just has like a very actually he probably have like a jock strap, like a black kind of like keeping his. Bits intact. I just don't want. I, really I just want, want to that. remove his ability to use the fence. Yeah, that's fine. You can do that. But what's interesting is on the inside of the leather, there are all these like it's like a beautiful kind of like spider web of thin metal, and it has like these dots that seems like it touches bare skin. Um, and as soon as you peel it away from him, that's when the rune it just kind of like crumbles and just seems to vanish. Pretty cool. Has he got large register rings on his chalk strap? <laughs> Spells are being cast down in that area. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Do you want to take it off? Nope. <laughs> then I'm, a, I'm, a mystery. Check. I'm, I'm busy pause. working some other rods. <laughs> Major image. No, I'm not. I'm not making an arcana check on his dick and balls. Um, so yeah, you, you, have, you have like time. I'm guessing Johan um, and and Nova finish working on this ritual. Um, you gather up the supplies. Uh, Quill, do you want to? If you do investigate the dagger, it's a plus one dagger. Um, that he was carrying. It's like this Tom for like curved arm blade. It's cool. plus one. Um, <laughs> and no. Oh my god, she's gone. I don't know what, I don't know what she's laughing at. It's you. What should what I add in for the Dickable. equipment and that? this again. Just a plus one. Dagger. Plus one. Dagger. Um, you like reach the end. Um, over 24 hours, <laughs> Johan and Nova and Ayla finish mm -hmm. this platform that it will now sit at the front of the, the Storm Chaser. Very cool. Um, Johan, you finish your work, yeah. and you uh, you feel that calling. Yeah, I'm gonna step up onto the front of the boat. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm gonna have my cloud fly up into the sky, but I'm not on it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just standing on the front of the boat. Okay. Uh huh. So um, you watch as Johan moves away from the group and moves up to the front mm -hmm. of the boat. I'm just gonna say, <coughs> sorry for bringing you that trouble, but I feel this was necessary. 
Uh, well, we've got the ritual in place. Let me say it aloud. I will meet you at the Stormlands when you are ready. Wait, you're leaving? Well, you guys have pressing matters here and you need to prepare for what comes ahead. But you were so helpful. I, I, I couldn't have got back on the boat if it wasn't for you. I feel like you had a plan. You were moving pretty slowly. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was, but I don't know how mm -hmm. we would have got back up. Yeah. Well... You've been very helpful. So you're I appreciate that, but I need, to, I need to get back. I need to scout the area and prepare. But this will let us get to you. Yes. Perhaps. And you want us to pick you up before we go I'll crazy be I'll and be riding into that a storm. Mountain. You'll be waiting at them. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Well, Quill, he's going to be waiting for you at the storm wall. You need to go to the storm wall. I have something to tell you. Thank you for updating mm -hmm. me. There's this guy called Johan. Mm -hmm. He's a sorcerer. He needs you to go to the storm wall. I'm okay. Gonna be there. Look, I was dead at the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just passing on the message now. They're uh, doing this. Better late than never. Uh, I'm just going to subtly, <laughs> as they're bickering, just <laughs> flash of lightning. Who's bickering? Yeah, so to, mm -hmm. to everyone, you see just a flash of lightning at the front, and your hand's vanished. His cloud has vanished. The only one who sees anything is Quill, with your passive perception. <laughs> Far back, about, five, <laughs> about 500 feet in the clouds, you just see Johan and his tiny cloud flying away. Did that look really cool? <laughs> <laughs> That was a far better exit than entrance. It was. Sure. Yeah. And that yeah. is where we will end today's episode. Man. A little special guest yeah. episode with Raz. Thank you, Raz. Fun fact for Thank you, Raz. Thank yeah. you, yeah. Johan. Um, he came, he one saw. last thing. I know we need to wrap up, but one last thing is we now have a new experience point system. Yes, we yeah. do. Um, which I need to do with you guys, and I want to do on here. No, you go, You read it out like, okay. as we do this. I so. don't think I've leveled up in a bit. How, what are we on? Uh, um, we have, we, we got yeah, experience last Mark level. Put it in did we? Us, oh, you so put it in. We're on 43,000. Oh, yes, I did. We're okay, 5,000 away from leveling up to level 9. Ooh. Ooh. Um, tasty, tasty. And that was a pretty good combat. Yeah. So we well, might, tasty. We might get something out of it. And also, I feel like uh, we made friends. We made yeah. Some, yeah, we made a great friend in Johan. You know what? Uh, That's and, level 20. And, well, so go go through the list. So, I'm what do you. So what, All characters gain XP equal to their level times 100, so we get 800. 800. I'll um, add this all up for you. Okay. So as we I'm not going to put anything in until I'm not going to touch it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all characters gain experience points as determined by the DM for any encounters. The so that again. is, I will tell you how much that is. That was 1,000 divided by. So that's 1,400, 1,400 each. Okay. This is pretty good. We're halfway there. Uh, all characters gain XP equal to their level times 200 if at least one character completed a short term, short term goal. I will not say any of you accomplished that this time. No. Um, personal goals. And, and it doesn't count because he's a guest. Yes. Uh, XP times their level, uh, le their level times 25 if a character met any of the following conditions. Um, we attuned to a new magic item. I got a plus one dagger. Majesty's Rose. That was in the last session. I, oh, I counted yeah. that. So I'd say um, not that one. The dagger, you don't need to attune to. So no, uh, you do. Well, according to... Uh, no yeah, well, it's not a big thing. Okay. Invoked their bond, ideal, or flaw to make a meaningful impact. Anyone um, you feel that they did that? Uh, no. No. I mean, okay. Sentry jumped off the ship. That, that was just being cool. <laughs> that was being cool, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, developed a new or existing relationship in a meaningful way. I mean, Johan, yes. everyone sure. did. I'll give you that. So that's 1 times 25, uh, level times 25. Yeah, so, so that's... A 200 XP, an extra 200. Uh, used a skill or spell to solve a problem in an interesting or meaningful way. I mean, I Johan did with to... Dimension Door, I suppose, to solve you, the Fallen Century. If you think that that was cool, I can add that, yeah. A character discovered a piece of interesting, useful, and or secret lore about the world or an NPC. We kind of learned. I solved the ritual. The vision. Well, yeah, vision. vision. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel like because we started as well, like putting the pylons on. Like... Sure. Yeah. Um, I'll give you that one. Yep. Undertook a perilous journey that took time to complete. I mean, yeah. we started yeah. one, but... Perilously yeah, yeah, that was a slowly. <laughs> yeah. uh, a character failed a significant role that resulted in wasted resources, a negative relationship, or an injury, or some other major drawback. Nah. Sentry jumped off the ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool, but... Um, and a character took actions that made a major impact on the world or local in, uh, area for better or worse. I don't think so, not this time. Well, I mean, There's we, a ship in the ocean. We... <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Oh, man, it's Looting is. does not count. <laughs> Littering does not count. What about, what about not listening to Johan made the storms worse in Mesku? Mm. Mm. 
Ooh. I'm going to say no for now because there's things you don't know. Okay. 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 So that is 2,800 XP each. Wow. Oh, nice. 2, that's how we're going to do it from now on. And that's so. that's me trying out a new system. I've that's called good. it Sherlock Humans' expanded experience. It also cool. means that uh, you guys. Uh, so we're on 45,800, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Sweet. So you have a better idea of how much XP we have. Uh, yeah, so and also a it's a system which well. encourages... The idea is that you guys have more transparency of ways that you can get experience points. Combat. It's not just combat, but you understand where the experience points come from. Or ethereal milestones. Yes. So, and then the idea is also it's a group thing. It's yeah. like we it's nice. work out as a team. Um, right, quickly we're going to try and run through these donations. Um, Sid has already done the top... Uh, we've already so, done... Tom, you need to say hi to Julie. Say hi to Julie. Hi, Julie. There you go. Thanks very much. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Thanks for hey. coming. Hey. Uh, Kenku wait. noises. Hi. Uh, that was from the what Faceless the Evil. Name? Read the donator's name. What? The no. Faceless Evil. Hi, the Faceless Evil. Or Julie. Yeah, say hi to Julie. Just, hi, Julie. Hi. Right. The Thank, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. I don't, I don't, Kenku, <laughs> shut up. Kenku noises. Thank you very much. Boing. Boing. Thank you very much. Uh, Megapix, thank you very much as well. Hi guys, usually can't watch on Sunday, but I was able to catch the delay. Love what you do, here's some money. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Jim, she protect, she attack, but most importantly, she jump on the Robocrams back. Love nice. you guys. Yep. Thank you very much. Nice. And then Zelda Zorian also, this episode oh, was great. Johan is little cloud are amazing. And Mark, I'm always astounded by your brilliant descriptions of visions and lore. Keep uh, high rollers being awesome. Keep amazing yeah, high rollers. you do have a very specifically good vision. Mm. Narration. Quest. Yeah, mm. I do. He's got vision, vision. He's vision, got vision, vision. vision, vision. Yeah. Um, vision, vision. And then I well, write I like a maniac. Right. Hang on, I've got a couple more on it. the high rollers. Donations came in. Mm. Specimen Jacob, sorry for the small dono. Been watching uh, for since the original campaign. You've encouraged me to run my own campaign as a DM. Oh, become nice. a games design student. Oh, one wow. day I hope to stab you guys uh, nice. for uh, stab one of stab you guys as a crimson reaper. Um, Please oh, no. It's an empire thing. Please don't be stabbed. Smeeful. First time watching live, just got through a rough breakup, and you guys are helping make it a bit easier. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, Nightjar, wellity, wellity, wellity. Look at what we have here. Streamlabs donation link, you say. Also, Rabs, you know Scorb is a good boy. Don't diss my sweet decapod son like this. Horrible decapod, decapod bastard. <laughs> Atticalus also noted, I love all you guys. I wish you could come to the Nerdarchy first annual convention in October this year. Happens around my birthday. It'll be the icing on the sweetest cake in all my years. Also, please stop trying to kill Quill. He is the goodest boy. I can't promise that. Is nor, he? But figure it out. Thanks. Cool. Goodbye. Cool. We gotta go. Cool. Gotta play ads. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Thanks, Rabs. Thanks Rabs. Check out Rabs on Twitch.tv forward slash Rabs underscore. Rabs Thank underscore. Check him out. Thanks very much. He's Rabs a good boy. Underscore. Rabs underscore. Rabs underscore. Check out Rabs. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs>